Welcome to Ultimate Autographs. If you were looking for the internet's most exciting and interactive live break room, then you have come to the right place. We are opening live break mystery boxes featuring the biggest names from across the sports world every single day. If you're new to breaking with us, we can help break it down and make it as easy to understand as possible. First, head over to the live break page and look for a series that suits your interests. Most of our series will have eight spots, which represent the eight NFL divisions, but other sports breaks or mixers may vary. If you purchase one spot, that means you have a one in eight chance to win that item at an extremely discounted rate. Next, click add to cart to purchase your live break spot. Once you've completed your checkout, tune into the next available live breaks broadcast on Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube at noon, 3, or 6 p.m. Central Time any day of the week. As you watch, you will see your name appear on the screen when your specific break begins. Your name will go into the randomizer and will be randomized a specific amount of times based on that evening's dice roll number. Once randomization is over, the list of names of people that bought into that live break will be matched up with a specific division. If the item that is pulled from the mystery box matches your division, congratulations, you just won an incredible piece of signed memorabilia. Want to guarantee yourself an item as opposed to testing your luck? Some of the series that you see on the live break page can be purchased under the mystery box tab of our website. Those boxes could either be shipped directly to your door or open live on the air before being sent to you. While you are there, make sure to sign up for our Signature Points Club. This exclusive club earns you points toward specific discounts, signed items, or exclusive events each and every time you buy at ultimateautographs.com. Your host tonight is an Eagles fanatic. I already know I like it because it's on a Philadelphia Eagle. He talks about the Eagles even when they aren't being pulled. Can't say enough good things. The only negative thing I can say is he's not a Philadelphia Eagle because we had a horrible draft. I'll always hype up an Eagle. Don't you worry, Fonz. <laughs> Make sure to ask to see a sweet thigh tattoo. Your host tonight, Colin, a.k.a. Thor Rudisil. The moment you have been waiting for has come. Let's break some signed memorabilia. And from the UA studios here in Burridge, Illinois, this is Ultimate Autographs. How's everybody doing today? Colin Rudis alongside my man, Stephen Ryan, ready for another great week of breaking. And, you know, right now we have five series in the room, but that's good because we can isolate it and all get focused on some of this sick stuff, including this baseball jersey series that I have not seen until today. Baseball, a weekend, full swing, a lot of great stuff so far, unless you're a Chicago White Sox fan, but... Other than that, in this baseball series, it's great. Nolan Ryan, Kurt Schilling, Fernando Tatis, Vlad Jr. We got Matt Olson. We got Tom Glavin, Craig Biggio. So many great players there. Diamond helmets are down to eight helmets. Full-size authentics, two headliners, two great wide receivers, including the great Randy Moss and my guy A.J. Brown there as a secondary headliner. But you know the diamonds. Everything in there is going to be sick. They're all full-size authentic helmets. Can't go wrong in the diamond helmets. Uh, what else do we got? The regular jerseys. I see a Bears triple signed that's still in there. We got a pre-fill in that. Actually, that's our first break of the day. Uh, Dan Marino as well. So only 13 jerseys left. There's actually seven headliners. So better than a 50% chance. I say we just hop right in and get started, Stephen. What do you say? Absolutely, Colin. Ready to rock and roll. Ready to rock and roll. I like it. So let's get in here. As you can see, this is our first break. The jerseys number one. Uh, this is the football jerseys, just to clarify. So if you're in this break, go ahead and drop me a number, and then we'll get the show set up. Drop me a number for jersey break number one. Also, happy Easter to everybody this weekend. Did you do anything fun? I went to the family, but then I had to yeah, come here at work. Oh, to work right. Yesterday, so. Yeah. That's, at least you got some time. I did. It was very nice. I didn't do anything but just hang out with my girlfriend. So And cry over Illinois basketball and cry over Illinois basketball yeah we were we were still recovering that's fair Zachary Wright is in this break he wants three appreciate you my friend hope everybody had a good Easter let me know what you guys did life really hits you with a 30-0 run god how is that <laughs> it's just uh, unprecedented it's crazy and I'm done yeah, it's like crazy. it was a good battle that first time I was like come on you guys actually can do this and then I'm sure we'll talk about it plenty today <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get the dice roll, guys. It's going to determine the amount of times we randomize everybody's names for their division. Needs to be a six or higher, so a four won't do. A three won't do. A seven will work. So we'll do seven for the dice roll. We also have something in Ultimate Autographs called the Chase Wheel Spin. So this is every series we have right now. Only five currently 
The bats, actually, the bats are actually the baseball jerseys. Yes. Let me switch that up real quick. We actually have jerseys now. And of course, the wheel froze as soon as I did that. Jerseys. Mini helmets, football jerseys, diamonds, and the one and four. We're going to spin this wheel. Whatever lands on that will be the chase today. Uh, if we fill up any series or however many breaks we do in that series, in this case, the baseball jersey should be a lot. Uh, everybody that's in those breaks will be entered to a top spot draw to win up to $100. Don't even have to win the break. You just have to play the series. The break happens. You're automatically entered to win up to $100 in some UA cash. So it is going to be the baseball jerseys, which is great. We already have a double pre-filled for that. Uh, and everybody that's in that one, by the way, is going to get their name in times two. So that's great. Baseball jerseys. There's like licensed jerseys I saw too, some of them. We'll get a closer look here at the series coming up after we get caught up on breaks. Let's get after it. Yes, sir. I'll go ahead and drop in the live breaks page for everybody as well. <sighs> Excuse me. Bless you. Hey, Zachary, did Cunningham arrive to you, buddy? JW is wondering. What's up? Let us know. So we got Cade Gordon. We got Heather Livingston in her first break. Welcome, Heather. Zachary Wright as well. Good luck, everybody, in this break. Box three in the jerseys will work. So it is going to be seven clicks. Seven. Heather down to Zach. So for this one, Heather, you have the NFC North looking for that triple signed Bears jersey. We got Cade in the NFC South, Heather in the NFC East, Zachary Wright, NFC West, Cade, AFC North, Zachary, AFC South. Heather's in the AFC East as well. That is the Dan Marino spot. She's also in the NFC East, which is the Dak Prescott spot. So she's got a couple of good headliner spots. Zachary Wright is in the AFC West. So Heinz Ward would go to Cade. Travis Etienne would go to Zach. Everybody's got a chance at a headliner here in box three. Good luck. The first break of the day. The first break of the day. The first heat of the day. Not one, not two. Three autographs on one jersey. The Monsters of the Midway. There you go. Of course, these are the great linebackers. Dick Butkus, Mike Singletary, and Brian Erlacher. All on one gorgeous jersey. Boy, one thing about the Bears for sure is just incredible linebackers. You know, they've always had a great defense, incredible linebacking core. And these amongst the best. These three absolute legends. That is the NFC North. Very first break. Heather getting a really nice W in my opinion. Really nice. Three autographs. Three. Not just one. Not two, but three autographs of the best linebackers in this franchise's history, which is, you know, the that's the position of the franchise, the linebackers. Yeah, and I mean, these three guys are the reason why that's the case. And I mean, not to mention, it's not just scrubs, you know what I mean? These are Hall of Famers, mm -hmm. some of the best to ever play at that position. Not just for the Bears, but in the NFL's history. So, that's pretty awesome. And one you can't even get anymore, unfortunately, the late, great Dick Butkus, at number 51. Very nice. Good start for Heather. Three spots. Getting it done. If you like jerseys, but you don't like football, don't worry, because we have baseball. That's yes, coming up next. Do. Baseball jerseys. Heather, it's JSA certified, by the way. There's your physical cert. And then I believe the, uh, the hologram there is on Mike Singletary. So cool. Good start. Get the monsters put away. Knew the odds were good in the football jerseys, too. Now it is an exact 50% chance, a 6-12 and 12 at a headliner. Really good numbers. I would say. For 26 bucks, probably worth finding out. Yeah, they're written up, and then we'll move on to Jesus. the baseball jerseys. You are excused. Bless you. Sir. Gee, I thought you sneezed again. I'm hearing things now. Just a light cough. So it, I think it's going around, man. I've had a stuffy nose the last couple days. My I mean, girlfriend said weird, she felt sick. This is the weird time of the year where the weather just can't make up its mind here. Yeah, right. And your body's like, all right, what should I get used to? And it can't, and then... Yeah, it's cold day, warm day, rainy day, snowy day. Mm -hmm. Get a little bit of everything right now. I'm like, uh, just make up your mind, and we'll move forward amicably. Amicably. Respectfully. Consensually. Strikeout jerseys double. This is the chase today, guys. Let's do a lot of these jerseys. 
Uh, we got John Sutter, Craig Crenshaw, JJ Jones, Nick Dennis, and there's that man, Zachary Wright. Drop me two numbers for baseball jerseys. BB number one. So first come, first serve on the numbers. Here are the jerseys, by the way. I've already started to get some movement into the next double. Got some really, really cool ones here. Tom Glavin uh, there in the top left. Kurt Schilling. I believe that's uh, Bob Gibson there. We got Matt Olson, Fernando Tatis, Craig Biggio, Ronald Acuna, Nolan Ryan, just to name a few. I think the only one you guys pulled on this list is Frank Thomas right there in the middle. And then you can see the... Dion is a licensed jersey, Biggio licensed, CC licensed, Olsen licensed, Nolan Ryan licensed. About half of these are licensed jerseys as well. And as you guys know, license usually means a little bit more expensive. So that's, that's even better. Uh, you haven't pulled these guys, right? Hoffman, Posada, Rose. You've only done two We've boxes. Only done two boxes so. of that, yeah. Yeah, so those three guys also still available there in the listing. It's only a uh, 30 box series, guys. 28 left. With every headliner not named Frank Thomas still out there. With that being said, does anybody want to call a box? Otherwise, the randomizer slash wheel will choose. We are three to go in the one and four double. And then other than that, uh, five to go in both baseball jersey series. So we'll probably do a top to bottom rundown next. Let you guys see it. Uh, everything we have going on. But last call here, guys, for some boxes. Otherwise, we will spin the wheel. Good either way. We were talking about it off air, but the top four active scores in college basketball all in action tonight, which is pretty awesome. It's be uh, Ben Lith, Angel Reese. Uh, Caitlin Clark and Paige Beckers all in action tonight. And two really, really high-level women's basketball games. I already saw Travis Scott actually tweeted out, this might be the biggest day in, like, women's sports. Yeah, it's that he can. And I'm like, I don't know if that's the truth necessarily, but it does feel pretty massive. Obviously, the Caitlin Clark-Angel Reese rematch tonight, and I think that's going to be a good game in one. If I'm being honest, I think LSU might sneak away with. I'm hoping Iowa takes it. I hope they do, too. Get back to the title game. I just don't know who's beating South Carolina. Yeah, it might not even matter. In the end. <laughs> South Carolina survived a little bit of a scare, though. They did, Over yeah. the weekend, but made it happen. All right, guys, we're going to go to the wheel. Two boxes from the wheel. Starting on five, I guess, for no real reason. I almost went all the way back around. We'll do box three. Should be there. Then we'll do box... Good Lord, it almost went all the way around again. It landed on three. We're gonna spin it again. <laughs> it landed on three. Kid. It landed on three. Good lord! <laughs> One. <laughs> One. All right, cool. We're going low. Wow, this thing is <laughs> we are going low in the baseball jerseys. One and three. All right, to the randomizer we go. Good luck, guys. Ground out to the pitcher in baseball. Do what? That's a ground out to the pitcher in baseball. Yeah, it is. One dash three. Good point, Steven. Good to have baseball back, even though I'm in the south side of Chicago and it's not fun here. I think they are still waiting for that first W, a nice series sweep by the Tigers to kick off the White Sox campaign. It's pretty awesome. Right. Pretty awesome start. All right, Nick Dennis, AL East for you, my friend. JJ, AL Central. Zachary Wright, AL West. John Sutter, NL East. JJ Jones, NL Central. And then Craig Crenshaw. In the NL West, starting with box number one. Strikeout baseball series. Box one. Ooh. Here's a guy we're familiar with around here. I'm trying to see if they have a... Uh, what team it is. Yeah. I think we're going to have to do some research. Oh, oh, I think it's a cubby, though. Oh, no, it says it on the front here. Yeah, Texas. Texas, yeah. Rafael Palmero. Very nice. 569 home runs for the chemist, Rafael Palmero. No, oh, excuse me, I got the wrong guy. <laughs> Rafael Palmero, Texas on the front. Got it all down, so congratulations there. Nice hit, though. Rafael Palmero, great player. Great player. Great player over 500 career home runs. I know there's some speculation. I mean, he did a lot of Congress, but that's not the point here. It's not the point. Fantastic ball player. 
And like you said, 569 home runs. That's incredible. You can't really be upset about that, right? No, no not, a, not in terms of baseball. All right, let me try to get my uh, baseball divisions here. This would be... I can do this. NL East? No. <laughs> how, how could they be in the NL East if they played the Diamondbacks in the World Series last year? Toronto's not on that side of the... Toronto. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. Toronto, uh, right? AL East? <laughs> Nick Dennis. AL West. <laughs> nope, AL West. That doesn't make any sense. The, ty- the Texas Rangers are in the AL West. Oh, I'm thinking of the Blue Jays. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's literally blue. <laughs> There's a red line. <laughs> the Blue Jays are red and blue. <laughs> yeah, the jersey says Texas. <laughs> Listen, we can... <laughs> don't, don't point out the obvious here. I'm literally I'll thinking about to you, Toronto. I'll say this to you, though. The only reason they're not in the AL East is because there's just too many teams on the East. That's just stupid. I'm just saying it's stupid. Terry. <laughs> Look at these two thugs, says David. Wow, thugs. So aggressive. That is a little aggressive. <laughs> What's up, David Griffin, though? They got started here. Rafael Palmero. Just a filler hit, by the way. I don't know why. I'm literally thinking in my head it's Toronto, and I was like, AL West makes, like, the least amount of sense for the Blue Jays. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> makes no sense. I mean, sure, but... <laughs> That's a Ranger jersey. <laughs> That's a Ranger jersey. <laughs> Zach, congratulations. I 100% back your uh, thought process, but... It's also flawed. <laughs> <laughs> also not correct. I wasn't trying to show you up. Is that written up? We're not done though. We got another one. Let's see if we can get this team. Box three, the Babe Ruth box. We've got ourselves. Oh, this is a cool looking jersey. Great player, too. Wow, these are two really good fillers. How about Tori Hunter? Minnesota Twins. But it's like that blue jersey that they have, that light oh, blue one with the that's red. Awesome. Yeah, great Tory Hunter. Also, he might have might have one of the best baseball autographs of all time. I can get this one. AL Central. <laughs> that's Tory Hunter He's going to JJ back Jones. Off, Steven, I got the swing. I know my division that whoops <laughs> our, you know what, every year. <laughs> In recent years. Right. Yeah, Tory Hunter, great, great career for him. Um, his son now starting to make the rounds in the MLB world or baseball world rather but he's a five time all star nine gold gloves two time silver slugger 353 home runs a career 277 batter with uh, almost 1400 RBIs I mean, he has a nice nice career for Toy Hunter and a cool looking jersey and Rob Barry Bonds in the all star game let's never forget <laughs> and Barry Bonds picked him up because he was you know not too bad for a, uh, what, 17th rounder, I think I'm seeing? 132nd. I know his son played uh, at Notre Dame. Mm-hmm. Played some old football. I don't think he ever made it all the way, though. I don't think so. Man, it's hard to do a two you know, dual-sport athlete, you know? Oh, gosh, yeah. It's hard to make it as a baseball player yeah, all the way. Right. I mean, you can get to the minors... God, this is a cool jersey. But yeah, even but that's hard. But to get to the pros and be consistently in the pros, I mean, good Lord. Did you see Bob sent me a nice photo about uh, some more tragedy in the NCAA women's Uh-oh. Great game? Uh, did you see the three-point lines in this? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. They were like, all out what whack. are we doing here? Yeah, they had both to, like... Both teams agreed to it, though. Yeah, they both agreed. I mean, I don't know what else you're going to do. Yeah. What, are you going to, like, veto the game until yeah. they fix the court? I might have to. I, I, I lost? Know. Yes. Absolutely. I would. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> afterwards, yeah, it's an easier decision, but... Uh, I'd be like, oh, at the no, time, I think I'd just be like, whatever. Lose, you know? I mean, they're both playing on it, but it is, it is a little silly on that sauce today. I am not. It is 12-18, good sir. <laughs> That's from Parks and Rec. Tom ever gets the John Ralphio and Mona Lisa together and she's like, alright, who do I have to who do I have to take out? She, he's like, it's 9 a.m. Relax. <laughs> We're not doing any of that. Pops that it's 5-18 somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I guess. 
I'm also at work, though. <laughs> I don't think Matt would appreciate it. Or somewhere, anybody else. Somewhere in the shallow Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> yeah, God. <laughs> Probably England. Just arrived, says Zach. JW says good. So, Tory Hunter and Rafael Palmero, by the way, uh, two filler hits in this. Two really good filler hits. But with that being said, guys, it's now 26 baseball jerseys left. It's the chase today. And we still have 11 headliners, so that's not too bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. And it's actually 14 headliners when you count the listed guys, so it's actually better than a 50% chance at a photo or listed headliner. So nothing full now. We do have some more people hopping into the room, so let me go ahead and drop in the live breaks page, guys, and let's go over to the live breaks page for a little top-to-bottom rundown, starting with... The baseball jerseys, $86. That is for a double box break. We've also got the single box break down here for $43. That one, by the way, just four to go. It's the chase today. Uh, they are custom jerseys like football, David's asking. Not all of them, which is what's nice. There are one, two, three, four, five, six that are licensed jerseys that we know of out of the photoed headliners. Being Nolan Ryan, Deion Sanders, Craig Biggio, CC Sabathia, that Matt Olson and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. and get a better look at that. And, you know, some of these ones that aren't licensed jersey, like this Tom Glavin, for example, is a stat jersey. So that's pretty awesome for one of the best pitchers. Kurt Schilling, speaking of that, we got Bob Gibson, just some incredible pitchers in this, mm -hmm. in this series. That Matt Olson is a licensed one. Fernando Tatis is fantastic, one of the best and most exciting players in the game. We got Craig Biggio still out there as well. Ronald Acuna Jr., who is... Probably the best player in baseball, though. Mookie Betts is off strong uh, his first week of the season. We still got Nolan Ryan, that CC Sabathia. That is a licensed jersey. No last name on the back. Makes sense. And then primetime Deion Sanders, which is also a licensed jersey. Who won the first baseball jersey and whose is John Sutter? I'll go ahead and flash this down. JJ Jones won in the AL Central with Torrey Hunter. Zachary Wright won in the AL West with Rafael Palmero. Those were the first two. Mr. Sutter, we are getting close to our second one, which is a single. And again, it is the chase today, guys. And it's only a six-spot break, so your odds of winning some of the best in the break room outside of uh, the one and four, which is still in here as well. Uh, Trevor Hoffman, Jorge Posada, and Pete Rose all still available. So again, that is 14 headliners with only 26 boxes left. Zach, I didn't find the Eclipse. It was on my list, but I don't know why I couldn't find it. Anyway, I'll be sending you the Speed Authentic with a bonus on two boxes for your trouble and my lack of detective skills, says Bob. Lack of detective skills. We all I have that buy that time. Bob's collection's big enough that something might not be where it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you might get a little... Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Let's talk about the one and four, because it is your best odds per spot of winning. 25% chance with just one. That is 260 for the double, 130 for the single... This is a uh, sports mixer, I guess. I mean, you got baseball, you got football, you got basketball, and you got everything else. It's not even a sport mixer, though, because it's also got some entertainment in there, some sports entertainment, because we are still looking for Hulk Hogan. I mean, the golden boy of WWE, WWF back in the day. Obviously, some of the most legendary fights in wrestling history, including at WrestleMania, which is actually coming in six days, Steven. I know you're amped. The first night is six hours. It's a two-night event. The first night is Saturday. It's six hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the first night. Yep. <laughs> and then they have a whole another night. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, we've also got Nolan Ryan here as well. If you'd rather try to get him in the one and four, that Dale Earnhardt still out there on the Sundrop Replica NASCAR helmet. Both of the triple sign basketballs, the Lakers and the Celtics. That is Jerry West, James Worthy, Magic Johnson on the Lakers, Kevin McHale, Robert Parrish, Larry Bird on the Celtics. And uh, the Five Sig Miami Authentic for the football fans still out there as well. Michael Irvin, Warren Sapp, Andre Johnson, Ray Lewis, and the great Frank Gore. So that is, what, two, four, six photoed headliners here in the one and four 17 boxes. In the listing, we are also still looking for that J.J. Watt. So you can double up that Miami lid and the J.J. Watt in the double box break. Any Lions out there? In the personal reps, we have an Aiden Hutchinson I've seen. Um, uh, oh, it's A.J. Brown. Yeah, we've got A.J. Brown times two. I don't know if we have any Lions that we know of right now. That we know of. We'll keep going and look, because we have the Diamonds. I know the Barry Sanders is gone. The Jared Goff is gone. 
We are actually only down to eight boxes here in the diamonds, but they are all full-size authentics. If we're going to find a lion that is still left in, you know, those six boxes that we don't know, we know it's going to be a very big name on an authentic helmet. Mm -hmm. So that's the beauty of the diamonds. Probably the best spot for Josh to find himself some lions would be hidden here in the diamonds. But one maybe he doesn't necessarily want to see that's still right there smack dab in the middle is... In my opinion, the most talented wide receiver that ever played, Randy Moss, on the full-size authentic Viking lid with the straight cash homie inscription. That is sick. That is one of the final eight boxes here in the diamonds. We actually know two of the last eight, which is, you know, 25% chance at a headliner because the great A.J. Brown's still out there in the diamonds as well. Two incredible wide receivers. 174 a spot. That's for the double. 87 a spot. That is for the single. Other two breaks here, by the way, the baseball jerseys, three to go in that single, four to go in that double right now. Uh, the jerseys, four spots to go here as well. Jerseys are getting interesting because we have 12 jerseys left. We have six headliners left and a couple of big ones, including that Dan Marino down in the corner. Again, it's always interesting when you ever see like Marino or Montana in black box jerseys or minis, because generally speaking, those are like the big headliners for can't miss series so when you've got an opportunity to get one for 26 bucks you got it you got to take that shot shot got to take that shot so the great dan marino is still out there the best to uh, never win the super bowl at the quarterback position dak prescott still out there too for all of the cowboy fans smack dab in the middle we're still looking for the great heinz ward right underneath and then we also have travis Etienne jr one of the best up and coming running backs is there a new series dropping since b and sold out? Adam, I would say stay tuned. Not this show. Not this show. Stay tuned, though. So that's what's left in the jerseys, guys. We also have uh, uh, Greenlaw and Dante Hall in the listing, I forgot to say. Dre Greenlaw here and Dante Hall as listed headliner. So, again, that is a 6 in 12 chance at a headliner in the jerseys. Last but not least, the mini helmets. Ten boxes left, four headliners left, including Jordan Addison. That's still out there. Talk about great up-and-coming young wide receivers. I think Jordan Addison is certainly one of them. We're also still looking for that Earl Campbell and that white A.J. Brown, which is pretty sweet. Two great wide receivers and that Euler lid. That's the lid. flat white A.J. Yeah, that flat right? white. Ooh, yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Chris Johnson out there as well. CJ2K, hopefully on a nice Titan flash. Uh, by the way, you can still double up that Chris Johnson with Earl Campbell. So, not bad in the minis. $47. It's a double box break every single time. So, that's everything we have right now. Again, guys, four to go here in that double jersey. Three to go in the one and four double. Four in the football jerseys. And three to go in the baseball jersey single. Speaking of young wide receivers, the uh, uh, some unfortunate news, I guess, with Rashi Rice and yep. yeah that was unexpected i guess lucky for him that nobody was seriously injured you know i don't know if he was drinking or sense, not sure, but yeah, yeah I but i don't know i mean i i don't know what the offense is for that especially i don't even know where he was was he in kansas city like what's i think it was in texas somewhere. it was it was in texas yeah it's like i don't know what the driving laws are there if because he was racing right isn't that yeah. what they were saying and he caused an accident like I don't think he's going to do any jail time, I wouldn't think, but I don't know. Risky business. Risky business. Right. That's more the important thing, is it could have been so much worse. And if it was worse, you can end up like a certain other young wide receiver that we know that is currently serving some time. So, not a good look for Rashi Rice. I've just never understood the need for speed, but I get it. I mean, I guess I'm not understanding I get it or not the exact thing. I just you're you're an NFL star. Yeah. You don't need to be racing people. I know you're young, you just want to have fun, but I I don't get it. I think that's <laughs> literally it. I think they're just, you know, they're young, they haven't, you know, it's you got you're young with a fast car, like what are you going to do? You know, you want to drive that thing and go fast and you're not really thinking cognitively of like, well, what if I kill somebody, you know, and everything I have is over. Right. But yeah, sad. Thanks one of the golf uh, I don't know who got the golf, but maybe they'll be uh, open to trade. I checked for you uh, last night. Yeah, I love and whenever we get Jared Goff. Show. Jared Goff's the man. The Lions are looking good, man. I'm excited to see him next year. I actually just saw, uh, I don't know if it was like a 
fans poll for who should have won coach of the year, like early coach of the year, but uh, everybody was picking Dan Campbell over like uh, Kyle Shanahan and everybody else. So see what happens. Two to go now, by the way, in the single for the jerseys. Like Both Craig jerseys. Crenshaw took it home. Craig Crenshaw. Just bought a double single. Want the Moss. Double single. I'm guessing he bought one in the Diamond Double? Or maybe he got one in the Double a, and the single. I think he's got one in the Diamond Single. Okay, one in the Diamond Single. So six to go there in the Diamond Single. I want to see the Moss too, man. That's probably... I mean, I don't know. I don't know how much the baseball jerseys are worth, the licensed one, but... A full-size authentic Randy Moss is pretty sweet. I don't know. We're going to have fun in baseball and football, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, kind of more on Bob's side. He said, it's just stupid. Why would anyone make the money? They make risk it like they were in Fast and Furious movies. I have two words for Rachi Rice, Henry Ruggs. And that's like, hopefully, at the very least, he's just a young kid that made a stupid mistake. He realizes he made a stupid mistake. It'll never happen again. He faces whatever punishment he's going to face from the law, whatever punishment he's going to face from his team in the NFL, and that's just the end of the story, and he can learn from it and be fine. Mm. You know, it's just, you're young, you make stupid mistakes, right? Some are more costly than others, and the, all you can do is hopefully learn from that mistake and not make that mistake again or any other mistakes like it. But that's true. We'll see. Also, on a little bit of sadder news to report. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, R.I.P. Vontae Vante Davis. Vontae Davis? Yes, the man who retired mid-game back in the day. Former Illinois cornerback. I believe so, yeah. yeah. What happened to him? They haven't said yet, but there's some suspected CTE. Maybe. Oh, really? Is that saying it directly, but, you know, they just said he was found huh. dead in his home and no foul play has been suspected. They're just saying there were some things post post retirement that were, yeah, a, a little, little bit, off. yeah. yeah. Uh, that is sad. That is sad. He was incredible at Illinois. Yeah, and it was like solid, was solid, solid in the pros. I mean, yeah. he, he got first of all as a corner. Once you hit a certain age, it's just tough. It is tough. It's just tough to hang with everything, <laughs> you know. Yeah, the absolutely. Speed that all they got. So the fact that like Patrick Peterson played for so long, like. Champ Bailey, you can play it that long with that position and say, with those young kids, kudos to you. Yeah, it's tough, man. And they get, I mean, better route runners, faster, better hands as the years go on. You know what I mean? It gets harder and harder it's to like, be a cornerback. Uh, not to mention. Ordeal. <laughs> I mean, not to mention the rule changes, too, that are always favoring offensive players and not defensive players. What are you going to do? It's like sold out in both jerseys, I'm seeing. Uh, maybe the one that, I'll give it a check here. It might have just literally closed. Yeah, that could be. Sometimes they don't learn two more words, John ja Morant. Yeah, well, that's that was bizarre in and of itself. Luckily, I haven't heard a lot of John ja Morant news recently. But, yeah, he, he needed help. And he did get it. Now, I don't know how seriously he took it. But he did he did get the help. I feel like he took it more seriously than Draymond Green. Yeah, that's true. Five to go in that diamond single, too, by the way, guys. We'll go ahead and drop that in there again in $87. Uh, gives you a great chance to win a full-size authentic lid and a chance at that Randy Moss straight cash homie that is still available. One of the best wide receivers to ever do it. We are down to just eight boxes. He is still out there, and A.J. Brown still there as well. And, I mean, you guys know the diamonds. Those fillers, a lot of times we pull it, and we're like, how the heck is this not even in the listing? So I would like to do that next. We're also three to go in the next baseball jersey double, so I'll drop that in there as well. But for now, let's do the strikeout jerseys. We got Troy Sorensen, Clayton Hofford, William Stefanelli, Zachary Wright, Reginald Taglicod, and Troy Sorensen. What is up, everybody? Welcome in. Happy Monday. Hope you had a good weekend. Hope you had a great Easter. Drop me a number for baseball jersey number one. So guys, let us know, let us know if anybody's got a number. Like you said, both jerseys, a single of each football and baseball closed out. 
Beautiful. So we'll do the football jerseys next. Zachary Wright is going to call this time. We're doing all the low numbers first. <laughs> Excuse me, box two coming up in the baseball jerseys. Might as well figure out what's down there. Right. <clears throat> Nothing in one and three. Maybe it's right smack dab in the middle, number two. Troy, down to Troy. He's got opener magic and closer magic. See what happens. Good luck, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Two idiots. Seven. Seven clicks? Seven clicks. You want the dice. Yeah, I forgot, all right? I looked at a Rangers jersey and thought it was the Blue Jays, so leave me alone. It's Monday. David, I don't know what the sauce is. Yeah, apparently I am on it. <laughs> it's prime. Yeah. Drink enough of that. All right. Box two in our first strikeout jersey single. We got Zachary Wright in the AL East, Clayton Hofford in the AL Central, Reginald Tagalicott in the AL West, Troy Sorensen in NL East, Troy Sorensen NL Central, and William Stefanelli in the NL West. Good luck. What is in box two? What is in box two? Box two, I would say, uh, was was a good call. It was okay. a good call. We got a licensed jersey. We got a great pitcher. We have CC oh. Sabathia. Okay, okay, I see you. That is sick. Sick looking jersey here. Fanatic certified on the CC. I think I can get this one. I believe this is box collar mojo in the AL East. Yeah. Zachary Wright. CC Sabathia. Charles Carstens? <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> got the headliner fire for you, my friend. That is cool. Still got the tags on the front here. Got the Nike logo as well. I'm trying to show that off. There's the swoosh. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Car it's Karsten Charles. Karsten Charles. Charles. No wonder he Even went by better. CC. Even better. <laughs> Great pitcher. I just remember CC being dominant, man. He Fun. in 08, he was literally the AL wins leader and the NL wins leader. <laughs> or no, he let them both in strikeouts. He let them both in strikeouts. Yeah, that's insane. By the way, uh, 3,093 strikeouts for CC Sabathia over his entire career. 250 wins, which is like kind of a new benchmark. I'm not sure how many people are going to get 250 wins in their career either. That's unbelievable. Yeah, 560 starts, half of them were wins, basically. You know, it kind of hurts me because a lot of like you know teams, they don't look more for wins because wins don't really do – they don't tell the whole story about your, your mm -hmm. you know, your pitching – but they do also help because that means your team wins ball games yeah, no when doubt. you pitch. That's, that's <laughs> straight the up. Truth. I mean, did everything you probably want to accomplish as a pitcher. He was a Cy Young winner. He's got six All Stars. He was an ALCS MVP. He won a World Series. I mean, CC did it all, man. CC Good career. Was a stud. And a great hit for Zach. Congratulations. Yeah, he was a stud. He was just a horse. Just a horse. Yeah, played for 19 years. Slinging that thing. He was. He did slang that thing. His last game, he was 39 years old against the Tampa Bay Rays. Pitched one inning, had two strikeouts, gave up no runs. It's always fun for pitchers like that because we can just dial it up one more time. Right? And just kind of be like, all right, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not doing this anymore. Keep, keep CC on the desk. Yes, and CC's going to be joined by some more. Uh, it's opening day for both the ball clubs. Baseball themed. Wow. Yeah, Alex, he said he once didn't collect a bonus because he needed to complete one more inning to get it. Instead, he hit the batter on purpose to stand up for his teammates who got drilled the previous inning. Last game of the season. Wow. Teammates. He's a gamer. <laughs> yeah, right? That is such a. <laughs> Baseball is such a funny sport. So like, yeah, I'm like, I got hit last inning, so sorry. I got to like, pluck your guy. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's just how it These works. These are the rules. I don't make them up. These are the unwritten rules. You don't you don't swing and try to hit a grand slam when you're up, and it's a 3-0 count. Why? <laughs> I'm trying to hit a grand slam every time. Yeah, that's like that's my job. Every time that, that opportunity is presented to me, I'm going to take advantage of it. If you were going to pipe one right down the middle at <laughs> 85 miles an hour... <laughs> I'm going to rock that thing if I'm Fernando Tatis Jr. <laughs> if I'm me, I probably won't. I never had a home run in my career, but out of the park. I'm going to do my best attempt to rock that thing. That, I'm going to do that. 
All right, second football jersey here. We got Clayton Hofford, Cade Gordon, John Sutter, Zachary Wright, Josh Underwood, and Troy Sorensen with a couple here. Drop me two numbers for football jersey number two. 50% chance at a headliner right now in the football jerseys. I think it's still better than a 50% in the baseball jerseys. One to go, by the way, in our next baseball jersey, Dubal. Steven's got a new single up there. He's got a new single for the football jerseys as well. Craig wants to know if he is in anything. Let me take a look, Craig. Uh, Craig, I definitely have you in the diamond single, and that is all. You are in the diamond single, which is five to go, by the way. Five to go. Oh, they both won a 28. They both won a 28. Yeah, I was looking at the timestamp, and it was the same, and I was about to say, like, oh, whatever, but I'm like, oh, it's both 28, so yeah. we'll just do that. No flexes in the room right now, False Blood. At least not that we know of. There could We have seen hidden flexes before in the diamonds. But I believe there are no flexes in the room currently. Unless they are hiding in the diamonds. Unfortunately, right now, it's a no flex zone. <laughs> they know better. <laughs> that one hurting for you not to laugh. No. <laughs> it's hurting me not to shake my head. <laughs> you got it, man. That's the point. All right. Seven clicks. Here we go. But later, it could be. Yeah. By, I I mean, I don't know for sure, but I'd be willing to bet by the end of today there's going to be flexes in the room. A sort of flex. A sort of flex. It will not be the no flex zone. It's Boy, like that base. is it's like not a great a spot for this jersey. kind of ball. <laughs> it might need to go closer to you. You can't see the names because of the white. <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's a good point, Craig. He said the whole Kogan is still available. Andy's flexing. There is a flex. Ah, there is one flex in the room. Technically Craig, speaking, Craig thinking outside the box. There is a flex. The Hulk Hogan flex. Craig, mm. you are also now in the baseball bat double, which is now close. So ah, closer magic shout for to, Crenshaw. Shout out to Craig. There you go, man. All right, second football jersey here. Clayton, you have the NFC North. Zachary Wright, NFC South. Cade Gordon, NFC East. John Sutter, NFC West. Troy Sorensen, AFC North. Josh Underwood, AFC South. Troy Sorensen, AFC East. Looking for that Dan Marino. And then Clayton Hofford in the AFC West. We'll do 28 in the chain gang. Is the click? What? Hmm? Uh, oh, sorry. Didn't know you're a mere non-wrestling fan. What's going on? <laughs> Can't with you. <laughs> Jeff Garcia! <laughs> Jeff Garcia on the San Francisco 49er custom. That's going to be the NFC West. Little John Sutter victory with one spot. $26 for Jeff Garcia. Solid career for Jeff Garcia. Very solid indeed. He was like the, uh, you know, like how in, this is such a specific cut, but in 2K, like in your dynasty modes or whatever, you can like pair a guy to like train somebody else yeah and then like they get better or their badges or whatever from mm -hmm. them that's basically what jeff garcia was in the nfl right like the guy that was behind him he was like grooming them to be the next guy yeah pretty much while playing good football himself on yeah. the team he was starting for i'm not sure what happened here we might need to look up this psa hologram because i don't think that belongs to jeff garcia uh... oh yeah well all right we'll figure it out but anyway, John, you got it. He says, thank you. You got it, man. Jeff Garcia. Yeah, don't know who that belonged to. Yeah, because this is it's definitely not his because this yeah. is JSA. Mm -hmm. We can look it up, or I can look it up on PSAs. Not that nah, it's going to matter. You're, you're busy hosting the show, bro. I got you. Thanks, dude. You're welcome. Surprised you just didn't enjoy my wrestling reference. I didn't even hear it. I when I said what, I literally <laughs> oh, didn't hear what? it. Oh, you? I said Chain Gang is the click. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you did make a rap wrestling reference. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to get this to Luke. Any any mid two thousands to two thousand tens wrestling knowledge I can drop on a heartbeat. Everything in but before and after, just forget about it. <laughs> Well, Craig, I guess the good news well, to is... to be fair, to be fair, this is a Jeff... This is a PSA identification for Jane, for Jeff Garcia. Is it really? Yes. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have touched it. Yeah, you shouldn't have. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. You throw it on there. Well, we gotta for, give it. We gotta give it back to Luke it's anyway. For, it's for. Is it's it for a jersey? Ju yeah. Jersey Jeff Garcia. That makes no sense. It's double verified, baby. It didn't even come with the physical thing. That's true. But you're still gonna have to give it to Luke. Yeah, we, we, we will. And who puts it down here? I this is this no is incorrect. Idea. There's no way that was intentional. Hey man, we've seen we've seen these guys miss blank helmets. There, there, okay. there, there. Okay, they wouldn't put it down there. But we've also seen guys straight up just That was hilarious. <laughs> Authentify not said, on the grab tail. You said what? <laughs> I was perplexed. Well it's supposed to be Jim McMahon. <laughs> We will give that to Luke. We will get that taken care of. But maybe a double bear, double authenticated. They just brought it. Which one do you think went first? Oh, we have to look up the JSA cert. We can maybe figure it out. How do I get a hold of you, Craig, about the Jared Goff, says Josh. The good news for Craig, too, is he's in this baseball jersey, which does have a Ronald Acuna in it. So Ronald? Even though he missed on the bat, maybe it was all leading towards the jersey. Maybe you weren't destined to get the bat, but the jersey. We got Christopher Longy Hoare, John Sutter, Zachary Wright, Adrian Leone with two, and there is Craig Crenshaw. Drop me two numbers for baseball jersey double number two. And then four to go in that third one. Four to go in the third one. Bang, bang. Do my connect to me posts not show up? Uh, I don't see them anyway. I don't know if that's something on YouTube specifically, but... 21 and 27 called out by John Sutter. We're also two to go in the football jersey, so that's probably coming up very soon as well. Oh, I don't... I don't think it popped up, Craig. I'm scrolling back through the chat. I don't see it anyway. Zach's a little late with 4 and 30. We are going to do 21 and 27, but thank you for the box call. Twenty-one and twenty-seven. Twenty-one and twenty-seven. Yeah, maybe. You might have to do that thing where you like space it out, sort of. But I mean you could if you're on Facebook, you could just search Craig Crenshaw on Facebook. Now I'm starting now I'm seeing it. I see your email, Craig. It's popping up. Alright, take these guys over seven clicks. Good luck for some football divisions. Baseball divisions rather. You got it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're not sounding confident over there. I do. I'm scared. I be. Alright. <laughs> Alright. AL East. We got Adrian Leone. We've got Zachary Wright in the AL Central. Adrian Leone again in the AL West. NL East for Craig. Crenshaw, John Sutter, NL Central. And then Christopher Longyhor in the NL West. Two boxes, 21, and at least, he, Craig says, is it Ronald Acuna Jr.? That is the question. Ronald or Ronald? He's too right? This one is not. This is, God, the fillers in this are good. How about Jorge Posada? Oh my gosh. He's a, He's listed. a listed headliner, fair enough. But still, Jorge Posada, that is really, really nice. Great looking Yankee pinstripe. That is the AL East, Adrian Leone taking the first one in Jorge Posada. Nice from John, right? Beautiful hit. That is nice. We have not missed on baseball yet. I mean, two Yankees in CC and Jorge Posada. Then we had Rafael Palmero, and we had Torrey Hunter. Like, all the baseball hits have been good. This We're one is line. Beckett certified. Very nice for Adrian. This is baseball season. It's finally here. The start. Wondering when the White Sox will get their first W. I can't imagine it'll be in the next three days. It probably will not be in the I'm next sure, three days. I'm sure they'll get one, though. It's so hard. Though. They'll probably win one game this year. <laughs> I think. I think. I think there's a matchup where they're favored. Do they, yeah. Do they, you genuinely like, like if you're playing the A's or something? Yeah, I think I think they'll be favored in a match or two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
They'll catch someone on the right day. Yeah, yeah, they'll, you know, they'll play the Rockies when, like, you know, Ryan McMahon or someone's injured, and they'll they'll be all right. It just won't be these next three. Yeah, they're not going to win. I, I would probably be comfortable taking betting on a series sweep for the for the A's. Led by Ronald Acuna Jr., by the way, who could be in this box right here. Formerly Tom time Glenn. Is going uh, Wednesday. Is he? Yes, sir. Trade 49ers Garcia for that Posada. John's offering up. Knife just popped off. Oh, there we go. No. We're good. <laughs> Ooh, we've got some more. Headliner heat here. We have Fernando Tatis Jr. Oh, yes, sir. Very nice. San Diego Padres custom jersey here for El Nino. Fernando Tatis Jr. That is beautiful. That is the NL West. Yes, sir. I'm killing it. Fernando Roger. Tatis Jr. One spot, Christopher Longhior. Nicely done, man. One spot, that's it, man. That's all that's needed. 86 bucks, I think, for Fernando Tatis Jr. I'd say that's worth it. That's not too shabby. Gibson has not been opened out of this product yet. Josh, Bob Gibson is still out there, along with a lot of really, really sick headliners. This series is alive and well. But El Nino is off the board. Jorge Posada and Fernando Tatis Jr. in that break. Not bad. Not bad. I think we're going to have a desk full of baseball. It's looking like that. He says, let's go. Let's go indeed, man. There I you go. I wouldn't want it any other way. Congrats, guys, from Craig. Nice of you, Craig. Good news is... Ronald Acuna Jr. Still out there. This series is flying, as it should. I can't see his order number. Oh, God. I can look at this one down here. What am I doing? One, seven, eight, seven, eight, five. Fernando Tatis Jr. Great hit. Yeah. Especially since the White Sox traded for James Shields. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> We've already talked about this. <laughs> Fernando Tatis Jr. was not even a top 100 prospect when that happened. Yeah, sure. That's your excuse. Now, it was unnecessary because James Shields was terrible, but... <laughs> it shouldn't have happened, but not for the reasons you think. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I would trade that Posada for that Tatis, says Jeremy Leone. So there you go. Craig said, I'll take any Braves. Doesn't have to be Acuna. Well, Tom Glavin's still out there as well. So you could get Glavin and Acuna in the very same break. That's true. Well, that wouldn't be bad. But this is going to be football jerseys. It feels like we're just going back and forth between the two, which is fine. Because, uh, yeah, because we're one away on the jersey double. Again. Let's go. Uh, Cade Gordon, Zachary Wright, Troy Sorensen, and Josh B. Plus Josh Underwood. Got a couple of Joshes in here. Drop me a number for Jersey football. <laughs> number three. That didn't type. Now it did. Now I think Olsen's there too. So yeah, it's actually three Braves, right? Yeah. That we know of. There could be even more. But yeah, they're... the Olsen is still there. That's the licensed jersey, by the way. So the Olsen's a licensed jersey. You got the best player in baseball last year at least in the nl and then you have one of the best pitchers tom glavin so i mean a stat jersey an mvp and a licensed jersey all still out there for the braves so yeah it's loaded not to mention vlad still out there kurt Schilling, bob gibson craig biggio nolan ryan and uh that is a licensed Dion sanders jersey as well so Dion, craig biggio Matt Olson and Vlad Guerrero Jr. are all licensed jerseys, so we still have four out there as far as licensed jerseys that we know of. My guess would be if it's a licensed jersey, it probably would have been a photoed headliner, but you never know. You never know. 19 from Josh in the football jerseys. That will work. 
Thank you, Josh. Here we go. Thank you, Stephen. Seven clicks. Good luck. Still looking for that Dan the Man Marino. We are getting down to the nitty gritty in the jerseys. Josh, you're in the NFC North. We got Zach Wright, NFC South. We got Troy Sorensen, NFC East. Zachary Wright, NFC West. Cade Gordon, AFC North. Troy Sorensen, AFC South. Josh Underwood finds himself in the Dan Marino spot. And then Zachary Wright in the AFC West. Box 19 in the jerseys. What do we have in number 19? We have number 13. Oh. We have Dan Marino. Okay. Dan Marino, the man himself. Beautiful teal. Dolphins jersey, AFC East. Josh Underwood, one spot in the break. $26 picks up a quarterback auto and not just any. The best to never win a Super Bowl, Dan Marino. I mean, he's amongst the best of all time. I mean, I don't know where he ranks if Dan Marino won, like, two Super Bowls, you know? Yeah. At that point, he's probably a top-five quarterback, I would think. But Super Bowls, in my opinion, keeping him out. Top ten all time, no question, though, for Dan the Man Marino. Anytime you can get that auto for less than $30, you take that. And closer magic to boot. So, well-timed, well-executed, well done. There you go, Josh, man. Nice hit. Nice hit. Um, so, Craig, my man, I see you tried to get the last two spots in the jerseys. I believe we oversold by two. The doubles or the singles? The, the doubles. Did I, did I put eight on accident? Hold on. We will investigate to Mr. Crenshaw. I'm guessing if that I is the case. I put eight on accident. Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah, so Craig, since that is my fault, I, I will happily offer you, do you want me to put you in the next one? Or do you want me to refund you? Totally up to you. But Josh B did get in there in the nick of time. He did say, all right, going to work, pull me some fire calling, which Craig, I'll do my best. But if you are still out there, man, it looks like you are going to be moved to the next one. I'm guessing that's probably what you want. Uh, but we can also shoot you a refund if you'd rather have that. I guess, let me know if you're out there too, Craig, since this is our bad. If he wants to wait till this yeah. double's done to decide, we can do that yeah, too. that's fine. Um, that way, if like two Braves comes out, maybe he doesn't want to do it, but mm -hmm. totally up to you. What else is left in that collection? This this one? The football jerseys? Is that what you're talking about, Clayton? I will happily let you know if that is. It's uh, Dan, or excuse me, Dak Prescott's still out there, Heinz Ward, and Travis Etienne as far as photo headliners. We also have Dre Greenlaw and Dante Hall as uh, listed headliners. Dan Marino. We don't hear from him, obviously. We'll just we'll move him over. I think that's probably what he would want anyway, but... Yeah, usually he wants to move over, but I'll leave the choice up to him. We do have this baseball break, though. Zachary Wright with two, James Stastic, Corey Lockridge, John Sutter, and Josh B. I'm just going to move to the other. Yeah, I would go ahead and give it to him for now. Drop me two numbers. So that means the next one's already four away. Perfect. Drop me two numbers for baseball BB number three. Zachary, James, Corey, John, or Josh. Josh was ready. He said 19 and 24. And that one is up, so it's four to go. Six to go in the single. And then already five to go in the next football jersey. So jerseys are hot, whether it's baseball or football. He said 19 and 24. 19 and 24, which I believe are both still there. Believe or no? Uh, believe. <laughs> Definitely believe. That's good. Sup, guys? Can you check my order? 178700. Uh, I know you were in a break earlier, Reggie. Let me see if I can find that. Who's asking? Oh, no, it's not that one. 
Uh, Reggie, just when you get a chance. It's 178700. That even might have been... That might have been yesterday. Because this one's 178793. So it was before this one. But we'll, we'll look it up for you, Reg. No problem, brother. 24 and 19. Called out by Josh. Not to put that on the jerseys. Let's get you guys to the randomizer. Yeah, Reg, that happened uh, yesterday. During uh, the Sunday night show with me and... Uh, with me and Dom. Did he win? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, it looks like it went down yesterday, Reggie. You can like obviously Tom, go back. Thomas Kohlenberg won. You can obviously go back and watch the watch the live. But yeah, it sounds like it happened last night. You got it, man. No problem. All right, strikeout double number three. Zachary Wright, AL East. John Sutter, AL Central. James Stasek, AL West. Corey Lockridge, NL East. Josh B in the NL Central. And Zachary Wright in the NL West. Double baseball box break. Third one already, Steven. Rolling. Let's do uh, 19 here. Huh. I actually very much enjoyed this hit because, you know, like, he was a good baseball player, but when you get a whole day dedicated to you, that's pretty awesome. No way. How about Bobby Bonilla? That's a fantastic <laughs> hit. That is a really fun hit on Bobby Bonilla. AL East? NL East, yeah, excuse me, NL East. Corey Lockridge. I knew I was wrong, because I was like, no, the Yankees are. <laughs> That's not right. Bobby Bonilla for Corey. Still getting paid, this man. Apparently has a, not the same contract, not the one he's famous for, but like another one with the Orioles, too. Where yeah. Like an additional 500000 or something like that. Like you. I, I looked up the story randomly the other day. It wasn't even Bobby Bonilla Day. I'm not sure why I looked it up, but... It's actually a pretty wild story because a lot of people are like, why would they ever give him that contract, whatever? The restructure of Bobby Bonilla's contract allowed them to get a player, I can't remember who it was, but he ended up winning the MVP the next year, and they got David Wright. They ended up going to the World Series because of being able to restructure Bobby Bonilla's contract and not have to pay him so much money. And that was able for them to afford all these other guys that actually led them to some success. Uh, in the early 2000s so it was actually a really good move by the Mets and yeah they're still paying him now it was a great move by Bobby Bonilla but I don't know it's it's crazy that it actually was like wow that actually worked out in their favor for like some immediate success right absolutely and now I mean look the Dodgers are kind of taking a page out of the book right I mean they're not paying Shohei Otani that much money right now but they're gonna owe him a ton of money for years to come so, it's not that unheard of. I mean, Manny, Marie, Manny Ramirez is still getting paid a ton of money. Like, it's interesting. But Bobby Bonilla, obviously the first of his kind, still getting paid all these years later. So, it's pretty he cool. Set, he set the door for Chris Davis. Oh, my God. That's another one. <laughs> that one's way worse. <laughs> wait, till, wait till Mookie Betts Day, though. Oh, and boy. And Otani Day. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, they're coming. <laughs> John says, nice. Yeah, man. This has been a fun series. Been a fun series so far. And, I mean, great stuff is still there. But, again, the fillers have been Rafael Pomero, Bobby Bonilla, and uh, Torrey Hunter that I've seen. Other than that, it's been CeCe Sabathia, Fernando Tatis, Jorge Posada. Like, just fire after fire after fire. I think all we've opened so far are jersey boxes. Which Pretty is kind of much, fun. right? Yeah. I think literally. Quite literally. Quite literally. First hour, all jerseys, but hey, it's fun. Here we go. 24. Here in the doubles. Does Corey get a double up? Or do we have somebody else? Oh. <laughs> you already saw. <laughs> I, see, I see something. <laughs> you already know. This is another licensed jersey. This is one of the best young sluggers in the MLB today. We have Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Oh, that's a beautiful jersey right there. That is sick. This one is, like, kind of interesting because it is, what is this, the uh, Majestic, right? Mm -hmm. Got the Majestic down there. It's legit. The backside, though, doesn't have anything. Blank on the back, but well, you're signed on the front. The front yeah. <laughs> frame it on the front. That's what it's all about. This is also the NL East? 
the other. A at least? Yep. <laughs> Zachary Wright! There you go! <laughs> it is the Blue Jays this time. See, I got at least I got that right. Yes, you did. Not the Rangers. But Vlad Jr., the uh, MLB The Show cover athlete. I mean, this guy's just, just hitting bombs, man. One of the best hitters in the league. And a lot of people were worried about his fielding. And he's actually been pretty decent out there in the field <laughs> over the last couple years as well. So... Can do it all just like dad, but maybe even better when it's all said and done for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So nice hit, Zach. Yeah, this is kind of a cool jersey. Genuine merchandise, Major League, right here on the front. This is a 2X, too. I mean, you could you could wear this if you wanted to. There you go. All right, so I'm going to fold it this way. I guess it makes no sense. It's yeah. a, little bit, a little bit backwards. It is, right? It's like... We're going to Australia at the end of the year, and I know they drive the cars the wrong way, Ooh. and I'm like a little bit, a little bit nervous. Or the right way. Or the right way, yeah, depending on, depending on who you're asking. All right, so we've done what three doubles for six, one single for seven, so I believe we have 21 left. We've pulled three photoed headliners, one listed. So I think we have a, an 11 and 21 chance or something like that. Bye bye. Two, four, six, eight. I think it's 10. Let me make sure. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, 10. 10 and 21. It's still just about a 50% chance at some headliners. That is not bad. Let me write up Zachary Wright and we'll look at Lucky's locks here in just a second. Because I know he's got a chat in there. Vlad Jr. Cool. We have another jersey double for baseball coming up. Uh, well, Craig's probably happy he got moved over. Yeah. In the end. He made it happen. He got the party started. So we're going to be under 20 boxes now after this one. Good afternoon. Want to break in the 1-4 and four on March 20th. Dwight Schrute uh, Funko Pop. It has yet to be delivered, nor have I got a confirmation. I sent an email to UA customer support. No reply. Why? Sorry for the typos. Uh, Lucky, can you put your name in for me? And then after the show, I'll go talk to him and ask if he's got anything. I might go ahead and uh, reach out as well. I can do this for you. Because he is here, I think. Unless he's on lunch right now. But uh, you can call the number. He should be there. Ron. Okay, Ron. Gotcha. But here's the number, too, if you want to try to call him. Because uh, I think he's back there. I'm not 100% sure. But Ron... One way or another, after the show today, I'll go talk to him and say, hey, did you get anything? And I'll let you know on three if he did or if he didn't, or if he has any update on uh, the status for you. So, appreciate you, though, my guy. If you want to give him a call, though, that's the number. I think he's there. He might be on lunch right now, but this is around his lunchtime. I don't know when he's taking it, but might be worth a call. But we'll figure it out one way or another. All right, strikeout jersey, double number four. Craig Crenshaw, Christopher Taylor, Chris Lungihor. Chris Ripka, wow. We have two Craigs and then three Chris's. Oh. <laughs> Someone with the letter C is going to win here today? That's my guess. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's a good guess. Yeah, no problem, man. I got you. We will get it figured out for you, brother. One way or another. Boy, what's the of jerseys you got here? Yeah, right? Where you guys are not done yet. Try to be, man. Listen, we don't want you guys to have to worry about anything like that. Obviously, you guys are going to get all of your items. They're all authenticated by the best, you know, legit signatures. And that is, that's just how we do it here. Twenty-three and twenty-eight. I know there for a minute we were slower in shipping, but I do think we picked it back up. So, again, we'll figure it out. I'll ask for you. Twenty-three and twenty-eight. I just I had a feeling you were like you were about to ask that. We're in sync today. Sort of. Is that pre Brooklyn Nine Nine? <laughs> yeah, Watch party. That, that bond session on <laughs> Brooklyn Nine Nine. It's a fantastic show. Chris Ripka, do you want to trade that Robert Brooks jersey you pulled yesterday? That's coming from Josh. Perfect, man. That's what we like to hear. Yeah, we'll get this one figured out too, brother. No worries. 
No worries. We will get that figured out for you. All right, Chris Ripka. I got to be more specific. He's in the AL East. Craig's got the AL Central and the AL West. So not looking for Braves here for Craig Crenshaw. Christopher Taylor, on the other hand, wouldn't mind a couple of Braves coming out in this break. Christopher Longyhor, you've got the NL Central. And then Chris Ripka in the NL West. Box 23. Coming up in the baseball jerseys. I believe this will put us at 19 left here. Oh, gosh. Well, it's a great hit. It's a fantastic hit. It's one of the best sluggers in the MLB. It's one of those licensed jerseys. Oh, my God. Matt Olson coming out on the beautiful blue Atlanta Braves licensed jersey. That one is nice, man. And at least Christopher slash Mark Taylor. Very nice hit for you, my friend. Look at the front of this thing, too. I mean, this is just a nice looking jersey. Hey, Matt Olson is a stud. An incredible slugger. He really is. I mean, on a team full of incredible sluggers. You know, the Braves are fun to watch. They're going to probably kick the crud out of my White Sox today, tomorrow, and the next day. But he's a big part of it, man. Very, very nice. Matt Olson, Mark Taylor. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks, dog. Appreciate you, Ron. Love to hear it. Hope they come in and play and get in on all this fun, all this action, all these steals, bro. A licensed jersey for just over 80 bucks of Matt Olson is crazy. Crazy. He's only going to get better. I mean, everybody in that system is probably only going to get better. <laughs> Uh, Heather Livingston, if you are out there, I know you placed your first order with us earlier today. Hi, Heather. Hopped back in again. Okay. Wanted to get four spots in the Chang Gang jerseys. Unfortunately, though, Heather, there was only one spot available. Now, sometimes when it's already in your cart and it allows you to do it, it's going to let you buy all four spots. So, this is what I can do for you. I can move you over. I can move three of those three spots over to the next jersey, which will automatically be five away. Or I can refund you to three spots. It's totally uh, up to you. Let us know. Yep. If we don't hear from you, we'll go ahead and just move you over. Yep. Just for the record, if you're watching this later. But if you are out there and you'd like to let us know, please do. I'll give them yeah, a huge win. That's what I was just about to say, Ron. I mean, I don't know if you can see this, but the price tag is on this here. It's, it's $115 just for the jersey. That's before Matt Olson even signed it. That says $115 underneath that barcode. Just move me over, Heather says. There you go. Welcome in, Heather. So you throw in an autograph there from the great Matt Olson on top of the $115 licensed jersey. That's uh, that's not too bad. Nope. One, I mean, he's already profiting even before. If we just gave him a jersey with no autograph here, it would have been valuable. Is this, is this bugging you? Is that too close? No, that's good. Okay, cool. We've got a, just a collection of jerseys. Yes, we do. So Chain Gang coming up then? Oh, I have another box. We're not done yet. There's still a box down here, Colin. We're not done. This is a double. Matt Olson in the first. Is it Tom Glavin and Ronald Acuna for the Christopher Taylor double up? It's neither of those guys. It is another headliner though, Steven. How about the Red Sox legend, the great pitcher, Kurt Schilling? Ooh, okay. Kurt Schilling, Boston Red Sox. Beautiful little hit here. I think I've got this one. AL East. Yes, sir. Chris Ripka taking Kurt Schilling. What other two teams haven't we pulled yet for the AL East? We pulled three. I know. What other two teams haven't they, we pulled? Oh, God. Uh... I don't know. <laughs> the Orioles and the Rays. Of course. <laughs> makes no sense. That makes plenty of sense. Why? The, the Phillies are right there. Why would they? But they're they, they, the they, nationally. It's East. just, but. That's how baseball operates. It's in the South, though. The Rays are in the South. Huh? How come but, there's no South? But they're in the American League. What does that have to do with anything? I don't know. That's Josh has got it. Any blood on the jersey? I no. think it's clear. I think it's clear. There's red. I mean, maybe there's some blood hidden, like the Boston in there or whatever else. But one way or another, this is a nice hit, Chris. Kurt Schilling was the man. He was the man. 
He's one of those guys that uh, probably is never paying for a drink again in Boston, you know? So good hit. We're probably going to put Kurt away just because we don't have a ton of room here. Would you rather have Kurt Schilling or Fernando Tatis? Because we're keeping Tatis. the license. But, yeah. Man, I'm doing, like, Team Affinity on MLB The Show, and it's like I'm trying to pick my players. Yep. And I'm, I have to keep going back and being like, okay, wait, NL East is them, 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 and them. Okay. That's, and then I'm like, gosh dang it. If you play that game consistently enough, you'll know who's in what division. I'm trying, man. You will learn. Give me give me another one. I'm going to nail it. Wait, what division are they in? It, just, yeah, that that's probably easier instead of okay. me trying to name a whole division. What division are they in? All right. How about the Miami Marlins? Um, it's a 50-50 guess for you. Yeah, well, Tampa Bay's in the AL East, so I'm going to guess Miami's in the NL East. <laughs> You've got it! Snap a boy! <laughs> yeah, but for process of elimination, that's hey, not... <laughs> that's, sometimes that's how you have to do it! I guess. Do you think you can name all 30 MLB teams? Yeah. Yeah, I think you could process and eliminate yourself to to make them all the divisions. It's, it's, yeah, it's not the teams I struggle with, it's the... It's the, the division. Yeah, but it's putting not, them where they need to but go. But it's not as difficult as you make it seem to be. Yeah. Like where are the Texas Rangers? They're in well, they're in Texas. Okay, but where are they in the baseball world? In the middle of the country. No. They are. What they're in the they southern do, middle of the country. What division are they in? Oh, uh, we had them earlier. Yeah, and you nearly biffed that one. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, Josh has got this in. I won't be 24. I'm addicted. To, dude, me too. Yeah, I already did that as well. Love the NL East. I like Justice and Wright. Yeah, right? Yeah, they were easy to do. I think I'm stuck on... Uh... See, I don't even know what division it is. Mm. The Astros and the Mariners. And the ALS. The ALS. I'm stuck on them. Zachary Wright, John Sutter, Zachary Wright, and Heather Livingston didn't get that one spot in there. Then she's got a bunch in the next one. Drop me a number. <laughs> You're just disappointed at me, aren't you? I am. But, you know, there's there's two kinds of baseball people in the world. People that actually played, Colin, and then people like me. I, it's bad, dude. I cannot <laughs> get it at all. <laughs> I just cannot understand uh, it. I mean, I was really bored in class, so that's kind of just all I did. I would remember being really bored in one class. And we'd get done with our work, and me and one other guy, we would we memorized all of the presidents in order. It took, like, two weeks. <laughs> See, all I had to do was the 16, and I was good. I was like, that's all I want to do. Well, I had them all down, and all then down. and now I, forgot, I don't remember it. And instead of you, that's what I was doing. I was breaking down baseball divisions and yeah. projecting. <laughs> I'm messing up. All right, John wants 18 here in the football jerseys. That'll work. Really? None? That sucks. What number, sorry? Uh, 18. I think I've gotten Mickey Mantle. Uh, what's his name? Who's the shortstop? Young. Josh Young? Josh. No, not oh, John. Michael Young. Young. Michael Young. I couldn't. I, know, I knew he had a basic first name. I couldn't remember. Ah, it. the <laughs> former Ranger. In which division? Uh, Don't argue with this. It's an AL. Do you, want me to, do you want to name a division and I list them off for you? No, because I know you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're not in quest. You're not under fire here. <laughs> Zach, a little late with 25. Try to take some heat off of you. Oh, wow. That's insanity. <laughs> Jeez, from Ron. John's got the NFC West. Heather's got the AFC South. Zach, you are in control of everything else, my friend. The NFC North, the NFC South, the NFC East, the AFC North, the AFC East, and the AFC West. Otani and Trout. Redonk. That is Redonk. Yeah. Last year I pulled Trout and I was the happiest day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Does your wife and child know that? <laughs> my son hasn't pulled Trout yet. My wife, my wife will never understand the experience. <laughs> She's like, what about getting married to me? No, I pulled Trout. <laughs> We got a listed headliner here. Because I got married to you. Oh, we got a listed headliner and we have a snipe. Oh. We do have box collar mojo. We have Dre Greenlaw. Nice hit. Really nice hit. Dre Greenlaw, part of that very strong defensive team of the San Francisco 49ers. 
John Sutter. There you go, man. Dre Greenlaw. Yeah, you know, got a little mouthy with the Philadelphia Eagles. I wasn't a fan of that. Our security guard had to punch him, but, you know. And then your whole season went downhill ever since. Yeah, it was pretty bad. It was it was not very good after before that, a little bit before that, too. But, yeah, it was, it was not a good finish. But Dre Greenlaw played in the Super Bowl, so that's pretty sweet. He's a great player, man. Was it that? Don't they have two Greenlaws? Is that the Greenlaw that got hurt? Yes. Then towards the Achilles jump. Yeah, so actually the... he didn't play in the Super Bowl. Well, he did he? play, but he got hurt in the Super he Bowl. He got hurt in the Super Bowl. Yeah, it was that was him. Yeah. Was... Tough. They they were playing well. I mean, again, I, God. I don't care if he was playing or not. I would still have just... They have Dre Greenlaw and Fred Warner. That feels illegal. Oh, well, <laughs> you know. They still can't, they still... And, and Nick Bosa. And they, and they still can't show anything for it. And Chase Young. And now Chase Young, yeah. He's a free agent now. That's, he, uh, yeah, that's right. They got him at the end of the year. Yeah. But still. They still yeah. That's illegal. That's, I, well, that's what makes the Super Bowl so ridiculous. You can name ten players, and I could argue nine of them belong to the Niners. <laughs> <laughs> Their defense is, is crazy. Their cornerbacks are good, too. Like, they're just they're insane. I wish I was the quarterback of that team. No disrespect to, to Brock Purdy, who did have a good year. God, their offense is insane, too. They're insane. Mm-hmm. How didn't they win? <laughs> I, I can tell you. Why did <laughs> I bet so much money the other way? Because they, cause that, cause they cause don't that team, have Patrick Mahomes. Because that team had the most important position on lock. <laughs> they did not have Patrick Mahomes. That is the truth. All right, we're caught up for a moment, it looks like, huh? We're caught up in the moment. All right. Uh, one to go on the next baseball jersey double, so we're not going to be caught up for very long. Uh, I think... Yeah, I think... Unless this isn't refreshed. Hold on. Might need to put up another jersey. Football. <laughs> yeah. Kid, this is a video. It says Cubs really went all in for the pyrotechnics for the home opener this year. And it's just like two sparks. <laughs> it's really weak, actually. <laughs> it's incredibly weak. Gosh dang it. Yeah. Uh, can you put up another jersey? Yes. Thank you. One to go in the... Oh, I was waiting on the... Oh, her? Yeah. Yeah, she said she was cool. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. she said she was good with it. With the switch, cool. We're gonna have five Yeah, to she go said on. move me over. Sounds good. Yep, five to go. So it's gonna be five to go in the fifth jersey. We are one to go, though, in the double box break for the baseball. Let me go ahead and drop that in there. What did I say? 19 left? I think you did. That's not right. We started with 28. I think we've done three doubles or four doubles? We've done four doubles. So that's eight. One single is nine. So yeah, 19 baseball jerseys left. Nolan Ryan still out there. Bob Gibson still out there. The Tom Glavin stat jersey still out there. Craig Biggio, that is a licensed jersey still there. The Deion Sanders, that's a licensed jersey. That's still there. And then the best in the NL last year, Ronald Acuna Jr. Six photoed headliners in 19 boxes. But Pete Rose, the all-time hit king, and Trevor Hoffman, one of the best closers of all time, also both still out there. So it's an 8-19 to 19 chance at a photoed headliner in, or a photoed or listed headliner here in the double box break for the baseball jerseys. Getting some movement on the double box break for the diamonds. That's five to go. Four to go in the diamond single. So we'd love to get a diamond done today. Again, only eight boxes left in the entire series. We have one photoed headliner right there in the middle. That is Randy Moss with the straight cash homie inscription. One of the best wide receivers of all time. Second best in my list of all time. And one of the best wide receivers in the NFL today, A.J. Brown. So two great headliners left here in the final eight it's a guaranteed full-size authentic you know those last six are going to be fire let's get the diamonds closed up sold out here on number five so we'll do that in just a second quickly for the jerseys since these are hot too i think we're already on our fifth one so we've done four down to just nine jerseys uh heinz ward and travis Etienne, two of the last headliners there and then we also have the dante hall chilling in the listing so, one in three chance at a headliner in the football jerseys. 
One and four once again, guys. Nolan Ryan still there. There's our flex, as Craig pointed out, Hulk Hogan. We've got the Lakers triple sign, the Celtics triple sign, the Five Sig Miami, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. still out there. A lot of great headliners with only 17 boxes left. Six and 17 chance. Throw in a J.J. Watt for a 7 and 17. That is not bad at all. At all. And then eight to go on our minis. I'll just hit them real quick before we do this double. A.J. Brown still there. The great Jordan Addison and Earl Campbell. Those are three of the final headliners here in the final 10 boxes. But we also have a Chris Johnson mini that can be doubled up with that Earl Campbell. So really a 4 in 10 chance. Can you send the CC and the Blue Jays jersey to John Sutter, please? Ah, yes, we can do that, Zach. We can do that. Uh, do you want to just... We should probably use one from the... He's in here. Um, hold on. The baseball break, right? I'm going to just see if... Because uh, I know he's, he's got this chain gang order, but I don't know if that's going to confuse. If he, was, if he was in those breaks, though. In the strikeout one? Yeah. Yeah, he was. How about strikeout jersey double number two? Which ones are we sending? Uh, CC and, and Vladimir. So I'll get those written up real quick. Sounds like a trade has been worked out. Congratulations. Hope everybody's happy. So CC. You got that order number? Uh, no. Okay. What is the order number you're doing? It's the one from strikeout, double number two. Oh, okay. Ends in eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Yep, seven, eight, nine. That's why six Vlad was afraid Jr. of seven. And Karsten Charles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll put four here too. Bloody black one. And Vladdy, I'm guessing, is one of these. That should be taken care of. Oh, and send the green law to Zach. Ah, I see. All right, so we'll use Zach's from that jersey. That'll do, John. Thank you. Let's see. Let's do the... No problem, John. You got it, man. I'll do the one from the AFC West. Okay. Which is... Send green law to Zach. Yes. That's going to be 808. Well, that one I'm just going to straight up replace. Yeah, 808. 808, cool. Done. That should be good. There you go, guys. Yep. I got them on the stickies, too, for you. Cool, cool. All right, I think we're good then. Greenlaw to Zach, and then CC and uh, Vlad to John. More baseball, though. John Sutter. Excuse me. Zachary Wright, Chris V. Longahore, and Corey Lockridge and Craig Crenshaw. Craig got back in from work. Drop me two numbers. Four. Baseball jersey double number five. It's going to be only 17 left after this. Already got one bought in for the next one. We're four to go on the single. Keep it rolling, guys. Got one bought into in the one and four as well. So three to go in both one and fours, the double and the single. We're five or less to go in every single series in the room outside of the diamonds, which is pretty awesome. Nine and 16. I think those should both work. Perfect. Let me get those off the ticker here. 9 and 16. Thank you, John. To the randomizer we go. Seven clicks. Seven. Uh-oh, Craig's in the NL East. He's in his spot. ALEs for Christopher Longyore, Zach Wright, AL Central, Corey Lockridge, AL West, Craig Crenshaw, NL East, John Sutter, NL Central, and Zachary Wright, NL West. 
9 and 16 coming up via John Sutter. Thank you, sir. Let's get right to it with box 9. Just a beautiful collection of baseball jerseys on the desk, Steven. Yeah. Might get even better if we get some, you know, Ronald Acuna, some Craig Biggio. Who did I just say? Who did I just say? This guy? El Abusador. This guy? Ronald Acuna Jr. El Abusador coming out in the break room. The beautiful jersey. Craig said he chased too hard for that Acuna bat. I told him maybe it's all for the jersey. Yep. And that is the case. NL East, Craig Crenshaw, Ronald Acuna Jr. Nice. That deserves the headliner fire, I think. Absolutely. For the NL MVP. Maybe the best five-tool player in baseball right now. I mean, if he's not number one, he's got to be up there, right? That's true. I mean, my guy does everything great. The leadoff hitter. <sighs> one of the best it to ever do it. He could be, he could bat anywhere in the lineup. You know what I mean? Like, and he, he could play anywhere in the outfield. Though. He should bat lead off. So. Yeah, well, with that team, yeah. with this guy, <laughs> yeah. Austin Riley and the boys, a lot of great Braves players. That is crazy. And Very the nice. White Sox have gotten the first five of them out. <laughs> I don't even know who's on the bump today. Flexing. Nice, <laughs> nice. Congrats, Craig from John Double Machine. There he says, Craig. Heck yeah, it's that fire. Congrats, Craig. Big hit. Absolutely. Ronald Acuna Jr. That is really nice. Great hit. For a Braves fan. Atlanta through and through, Mr. Crenshaw is. And uh, maybe not the best time, although starting to be a better time to be a Falcons fan. I think they're trending the right direction. But to be a Braves fan, definitely a good time. I think it's Craig Crenshaw. Is he is he a Falcon fan or just an Atlanta fan in general? He loves Atlanta, period. Uh, okay. And which Craig is the uh, Steelers fan? Joseph. Joseph, yes. We had another Craig join the club last night. Oh, God. <laughs> it was like, the, well, the ultimate Craig club. Yeah, I was about to say, like, we have Bobby, <laughs> a lot of Bobs and Roberts. But, yeah, Craig is starting to be a popular one. We got room for him somewhere, or someone got to go. I mean, I can make room. Yeah, but at some point, you might have to make even more room. We'll put the Braves right next to each other, I guess. We can just do a little slidey slide. Does that work? Everybody's happy? Everybody's satisfied? We're all good on the jersey front? To a degree. Falcons will win the division this year. R.I.P. Ritter, says Ron. Maybe. I, that division is open. I mean, somebody's got to beat Tampa Bay, right? You know, Tampa Bay was the biggest dog to win that division? Okay. No. They were. They were plus a thousand. Uh, I was like, what? <laughs> that doesn't... Panthers. Yeah. No, they had the Panthers higher than them. I think the Panthers might have been second, even. I think it was the Falcons, the Panthers, the Saints, and the... And the... Uh, blah, blah, blah. The that, blah, blah, blah. The blah, blah, blah. Is this guy not even a headliner? Not even a listed headliner? Okay. Uh, Gary Sheffield? Oh, okay. <laughs> Gary Sheffield? Just hanging out? <laughs> I guess? Okay. That's not bad. With the inscription, 509 home runs. We got a guy that hit... It's actually our second guy that's hit 500 home runs that's just hanging out in this series. It's pretty awesome, man. Gary Sheffield. This is a beautiful-looking New York Mets jersey, too. I love that. I got this one. It's a double up, I believe, right? No. Wait. Oh, yes, it is, yes. I was like, really? Shoot, no, I was correct. really confident, You are, you are correct, actually. Okay, Craig... Maybe not exactly the double up he was looking for. I don't know how he feels about the Mets, but that's a cool looking jersey, man. Guessing that he's an Atlanta fan, not super high on them, but I like the front too. That doesn't mean we can't figure it out. That's true. Mets chef, but we'll take it, won't we, Craig? Stealing jerseys today. Hey man, he worked. He worked for it. He's got it. There's still one more brave out there. He's got to get that. Tom Glavin's still out there in the baseball jerseys. And again, Gary Sheffield is just hanging out. The just hanging out guys have been really good. Yes, they have. Gary Sheffield, Rafael Palmero, Torrey Hunter, just to name a few. Get some chef numbers real quick. 
Nine-time All-Star, five-time Silver Slugger. He's a World Series champion. He's got a batting title. He's one of those guys that's like, does he make it into into the Hall at some point? He's he's close, right? If he's not gonna get it, it's either Hall of Very Good or he's going all the way. He's a 292 career hitter, 509 home runs, a 60.5 WAR, almost uh, 1,700 RBIs in his career. I mean, the guy was a gamer, no doubt. Won a whole season with the Mets, his very last one at 40 years old. But uh, we'll take it. Right. A W is a W. Is a W. I met Glavin and Avery at a spring training game in Vero Beach when I was a kid. That sounds awesome, dude. I'm guessing, hoping they were nice. I feel like generally at spring training, they're they're pretty nice to the fans, but... You never know. You never know, I guess. I guess they could be jerks. And we got a jer baseball jersey single coming your way. Baseball jersey single coming my way. I think that's going to leave us with 16 boxes. I think you're correct. Something like that. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Yep, 16, I think. If my calculations are correct. Can you ever say that and not sound nerdy? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. This is, I don't think the right situations ever arose. So Craig with a nice double up. Right. Got the one he wanted probably, but now it's house money, right? Go, uh, I'd double down for that, that Tom Glavin. <laughs> that sounds awesome. So I used to sit on the right field hill, get to skip school with my brother, get to see my childhood hero, Strawberry, and Eric Davis. I don't know if I've ever seen Eric Davis in here, but we've definitely had Daryl Strawberry. And one that could easily be a filler jersey in a series like this. John Sutter, Reggie Tags, there's Heather. And then Chris Lungihor, very nice. Drop me a number four. Baseball jersey. Number two. Heather, by the way, uh, who is your team? Whether it be uh, football or baseball. Obviously, she won the Monsters of the Midway. I think that was our first break of the day. Got that Monsters of the Midway jersey. But curious who Heather's squad is. She's in playing baseball and football jerseys. She also has a spot in the Diamonds. Oh, well, she's playing the best series in the room, too. Grew up poor, but never realized till I got to be a man how really lucky and rare the baseball experience was. Oh, it's incredible, man. I mean... A lot of my core sports memories, especially, are like, you know, going to baseball games with my dad and mm -hmm. whatever else. Like, in those moments, I'll never forget the first White Sox game I went to, Nick Swisher hit a grand slam that landed like two rows in front of me. Nice. Over the left field wall. And that was just like, that was crazy. Oh, she's a Braves fan. Aww. So she could get some Tom yeah, Glavin yeah, yeah. action. She's hitting the right break. All right, we're doing 11 from Reggie Tags. Let me get that off real quick before I forget and answer all these chats. But yeah, there's nothing like going to a baseball game. Even my girlfriend likes going to baseball games, and she has no interest in baseball, like, as a whole. But she loves going to the games. Uh, 11, you said? 11. Eric Davis is signing at a show on Long Island near the end of April. They have a mail order items. There you go. You can get your boy. That's it. I know you're not there yet, but that's what I get to do this year. Yeah, true. That's what I have. I'm very excited. That's going to be I'm awesome. I'm going to take him to go see Ronald Acuna and the gang. <laughs> it's not a bad one to go to. He's not going to understand anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. But he's free. That's all that matters yeah, to me. He's not busy. <laughs> he's not busy with no, anything. No, he's free of cost. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah that's also true. <laughs> Went to a golf outing with my grandpa in 93 and met Barra, Gregiola, Oscar Robinson, and Joe D. I had no idea who they really were other than picks of my... Wow, that's crazy. You're just like, oh my god, I met all these legends and I didn't even know it? <laughs> all right, for this one, Heather is in the AL Central, the AL East, and the NL Central. So not looking for that Tom Glavin in this box. Reggie Tags in the AL West. Christopher Longihor, on the other hand, would not mind taking a little Tom Glavin here. And then John Sutter in the NL West. We still have a licensed jersey out there, too, by the way, in that Craig Biggio and the Deion Sanders. So there's actually two out there still. 
This is a great hit, too, for a filler. My God. You're going to really like this one. How about Mark Grace? Oh, wow. Yeah, legendary cubby. Mark Grace. That is going to be the NL Central. Heather Livingston taking down the great Mark Grace. I remember, for whatever reason, when I was a kid, I literally have no reason why, Mark Grace was my favorite baseball card to get. Like, whenever I got him, I was like, yes, another Mark Grace. No idea why, but Mark Grace was excellent. I think he led the 90s in hits. Yeah, this, this is... Pretty good stat. Led the 90s in hits. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the steroid era and stuff. <laughs> That's got nuts. Got a nice World Series. Yeah, he did. Three All-Stars, four gold gloves to go along with it. Anytime you're batting over 300 for your career, too, that's not too bad. 303 hitter for him. Uh, 1,146 RBIs to go along with it. Yeah, not bad. Led the league in doubles in 95. 51 of them. That's awesome. Well, Heather, it's all yours. Yeah, it is great. And just another great filler hit. Mark Grace. Yeah, we're in the Chicago Land area, so anytime we get Cubs for him, White Sox for me, we're a little bit extra appreciative, but I think everybody can appreciate how good Mark Grace was. Just a filler. I mean, you guys have seen it. The heat in this series is undeniable. Undeniable. I have not seen a hit yet where I'm like, eh. Eh. It's all been really good. I'm impressed. I mean, I'd expect nothing less, but I'm impressed. Yeah, fair enough. If that makes sense. Especially since we still got Nolan Ryan, Bob Gibson, Tom Glavin, Craig Vigio, and Deion Sanders, plus Pete Rose, plus Trevor Hoffman. Two, four, six, seven headliners left here, and we are down to... 16. I mean, we're almost at a 50% chance, guys. He said, yeah, Colin, 1988 score, rookie gloss. I was 10. I I don't know, man. For whatever reason, Mark Grace was my favorite, uh, my favorite card to get. My favorite player growing up, you'll never guess. This is before I was, like, officially a White Sox fan, when I was a kid. Um, was the crime dog. Oh, Fred McGriff. Fred McGriff. That was my favorite player. My first Cubs jersey. Really? Yep. I love Fred McGriff. I don't know why, but... Because he's a good player? <laughs> I think I liked his nickname. I mean, that's fair. I was a huge fan of the nickname Crime Dog. He was the Crime Dog. After that, I mean, I'm, I'm a massive Paul Canerico fan. Jermaine Dye and the boys, Jim Tomey. The Trendsetters. That's right. That is right. All right, I think we're caught up for now. Yeah, we're one away on the chain gang jerseys, though. Two away on the diamond single. Three away on the diamond double. So I imagine those are going to be happening here at any moment. Here is everything he's talking about. Four to go, two already on the next strikeout double. Three on that diamond double. Three on both one and fours. One in the chain gang jersey. Two in the diamond single. So all those are coming up, as Steven just mentioned. I'll go ahead and drop in those links. Here is the jerseys. The jerseys are definitely coming up. One spot to go there. And I'll throw in the diamond single. Two spots to go there. Both of those coming up any second, I would imagine. Mike, if we pull a Randy Moss, that just throws a wrench into, yeah. into this entire plan. Because we, we got to put Randy. Yeah, right at that point. <laughs> I shoplifted at Winn-Dixie just to get the score and player back when I was 10. I told on myself and worked cutting up boxes for two weekends. Baseball taught me lessons. It's funny people talk about the lessons you learn on the field, but for Ron, it's the lessons off the field that are just as important. There you go. Bob helping out Sutter to do some Sutter stuff. I ain't got you gotta do. Bob's always in the end. David Griffin's always in the end. Um, always sending me like Eagle stuff. I know Jason Kelsey is a signing coming up soon. Will not be sending anything in, unfortunately for me. One day though. One day. <laughs> no, I, I believe you, man. I believe you. Oh, I I don't know why someone would lie about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My girlfriend You're is... You're committed to the craft, my man. She's so... She's so, like... You can just tell whenever she's trying to lie or anything, but she told me the story once that she accidentally walked out of a store with a Snickers bar, and, like, they were in the car going home. She was a kid. And she begged her mom to turn around so she could go back and give the Snickers back. And she was sobbing, crying, like giving it to the clerk and apologizing. Mm. It's just like, Caroline, it's a, it's a Snickers. Yeah. 
She like she, one time she got in a vending machine, got two things that fell out, and she oh. felt like she needed to contact no. the vending machine. No, that's just. I, I'm like, Carol, no, just go play the take lottery. It. Yeah, go. go. Lottery. God, it's not that big a deal. Bob said, leaving in less than an hour for the train to see the Rangers and flightless Antarctic birds. <laughs> Very nice. Have fun, Bob, at the hockey game. Other than a one-ticket high roller break a couple weeks ago, it was a steal. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, those are always steals. I mean, there's steals all over the place, including maybe somebody getting an autographed jersey for just 26 bucks, because that's coming up next. I mean, gosh, just a second ago, I think it was Mark Taylor got that uh, Matt Olson licensed jersey for just over 80 bucks. The jersey itself, I mean, we have the tag here, is worth over 100 That's before Matt Olson put his signature on it. And you know that's worth at least well over 100 200 however much money there. Uh, that's a steal. You get steals all over the place here, guys, when you win in these breaks. And that's why we do it. Four to go in that next double, by the way. Uh, and then six in the single. So it is 144, as you guys know. We do have uh, three shows here at Ultimate Autographs every single day. That's 12, 3, and 6 p.m. Central Time every single day. And I do mean that every single day because we even had Easter shows this Sunday. And the only days I think we don't work, period, is Christmas. I think we are all off on Christmas. Uh, Super Bowl, that's kind of basically a holiday for us. We work like one show that day. Yeah. But I learned that. We're all here. All right. I need to know Heather's football team, too, because she's got four spots in this jersey break. Uh, we've also got John Sutter and then Zachary Wright. John looking for another snipe. Football jersey number five. Football jerseys are down to the nitty gritty as well. I think only nine left here with three photoed headliners and one listed headliner. Excuse me, two photoed headliners, one listed headliner. Oh, she's a Miami fan, Dolphin fan. So probably a little upset she just saw that Dan Marino go. But you never know. We get some we get some great filler Dolphins right. in this. So we're good there. Ten on the jerseys for Zachary Wright. Jason Taylor, uh, Bob Greasy, the Marx Brothers. I'm just thinking of fillers that could be in here. Dante Culpepper we've seen on Miami before. Ricky Williams. And then obviously all the stars today. Like, I mean, you just saw the Dan Marino, but Tua, Jalen Waddell. Both the running backs we get. A-Chain and Mostert. Tyree Kill. You get a ton of Miami Dolphins. Boy, I'm going to be able to walk this down to shipping. This is all jersey boxes. It's literally, we might get a full size box here at some point. But so far, it has all been jerseys. I don't know if I've ever had a day like this. It's kind of fun, though. If I needed a right handed pitcher to win one game, his jersey is in the jersey break. Bob Gibson, he would throw high heat under his mother's chin to get her off the plate. I like that. Uh, widely considered one of. The best pitchers of all time, and in a lot of people's minds, the best pitcher of all time, Bob Gibson. I mean, they raised the mound or lowered the, something for him. Yeah, whenever they, they have to change some the rules. <laughs> right. I saw. I, I think you sent it to me as well. I, I I got a bunch of really bad White Sox memes over the weekend, but the White Sox uh, didn't have a runner cross second base, I think, and then they had ten strikeouts, like something crazy. It was only the second time it ever happened. The only other time it happened was Bob Gibson against the Rangers <laughs> way back when. And it's like it was against Bob Gibson. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's going to happen. The White Sox are just bad. Had a 1.16 ERA the year before they lowered the mound. A 1.16 ERA. That's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> He's still out there in those baseball jerseys. That's crazy. Box number 10 from Zach. So, let's see. Zach's got the NFC North, the NFC West, and the AFC East. We've got Heather in the NFC South, the NFC East, the AFC North, and the AFC South. And then John is in the AFC West. So, Heinz Ward would go to Heather. Travis Etienne would go to Heather. And then the Dante Hall, I believe, would go to John Sutter, if it's one of those guys. Well, let's see. Yes. He did. Okay. I'm guessing he just did something good. No, he did not. Oh, does he hurt? No, he walked. <laughs> you just wanted to know? <laughs> I just wanted to confirm. Or I was rooting for it, you know? 
I got you. <laughs> we got offensive line. Oh. Walter Jones. Walter. Walter Jones on the old school Seattle Seahawk jersey. Very nice. NFC West. Little box collar mojo for Zachary Wright. He is a Niners fan, so I don't know how entirely how he feels about a Seahawk offensive lineman that uh, they could also definitely. Might be a tough sell. Yeah. That they could definitely use trying to block all those defensive players these <laughs> days that San Francisco has. Walter Jones was very good at that. Beckett certified. It is a cool looking jersey, though. I mean, the sleeves with those old school green. It's very cool. Walter. Better than a one in three chance at a headliner now in the football jerseys. Still got Heinz Ward and Travis Etienne. And Dante Hall. You like Dante Hall or D'Angelo Hall better? I prefer Dante. D'Angelo torched the Bears, though, which was funny. Yeah, but then DeAndre Hopkins torched D'Angelo. <laughs> <laughs> he tore his ACL. Ah, it comes around, doesn't it? <laughs> it comes real fast. I have the away jersey also. I love it when I compare him, even if I am a Niners fan. You see, Zach plays this game the right way. Yeah. Yeah, that thing is sick. I like that old one, that old school. For one game, I would take Gibson over Ryan 10 out of 10. And left. I knew he was going to say this. Left-handed pitcher would win one game. Sandy Koufax, who was also an incredible pitcher. Uh, I don't know who I have as my pitching go. Do you, do you have one? Mm. It's hard to pick, right? So era-based. It's so era-based. You know, I don't know. Like I wouldn't pick Clayton. I don't think I would either. I don't know if I would pick one from today's era, if I'm being no. honest. Not Roger Clemens. No, <laughs> he was good. He Randy was. Johnson. I lean. I mean, Walter Johnson was really good. Um, Bob Gibson, Satchel Paige, you know, Sandy Koufax, Babe Ruth, Shohei Otani. Shohei Otani. <laughs> <laughs> My grandpa told me when I was a kid, Bob Gibson was literally feared by batters who faced him in the box. He said no one intimidated batters like that, and my pop's seen Satchel pitch here in Indy. Wow. See, now that's experience you can kind of lean on. That's kind of crazy to say that about Bob Gibson, who, uh, you know, and Satchel Page. Who, I mean, there's just wild stories about Satchel Page. The best right-handed pitcher I saw for an entire career was Tom Seaver. Left-handed pitcher Steve Carlton. We get both those guys in the break room, yeah. by the way. But we are talking about Bob Gibson, who is still here. Still here on the jersey in the baseball series with 15 left, 16 left, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 left. Still got that Bob Gibson. Another great pitcher is Tom Glavin, by the way. I mean, you're talking about him, John Smoltz, and uh, Greg Maddox. I mean, that might be one of the best rotations of all time. That's true. I mean, three of the greatest pitchers of all time, all on the same team. And if you want any proof of why he's so good, here is literally all of his stats on that Braves jersey. So we got both of those. We have two licensed jerseys still. The Craig Biggio jersey uh, and the Deion Sanders jersey. So two of those still out there. And then we're also still looking for the old school looking Nolan Ryan jersey. We're talking about best pitchers of all time. Nolan Ryan is another guy who has to enter that conversation. So no matter what you're looking for, what I'm getting at is we've got it still in the jerseys. I mean, we've got consistent hitters, great pitchers, flashy guys. I mean, more great hitters down here. How about Pete Rose? We got closing pitcher to go along with it and Trevor Hoffman. I mean, there is still a lot left here in just 16 boxes. Two, four, six, seven headliners. And again, the fillers have been outstanding. Rafael Palmero, Torrey Hunter, Mark Grace, just to name a few. Yeah, the Indianapolis Clowns and Indianapolis Indians now play at the Victory Field, and it's, uh, yeah, it is. I actually played on Victory Field for our state championship back in 2013. That was the field it was. Gorgeous field. It is different. I'm used to playing on grass and, uh, and dirt. It is all turf at Victory Field. It's all turf, which was a little bit different. I wasn't ready for it, but it is a great stadium. Beautiful. Loved going to Indianapolis Indians games when I was living there. So that's four to go in the double. We are five to go in the single if we want to do any more of those. This is one I definitely want to get done, and I think we will. We're one to go on the diamond single. Again, guys, uh, Randy Moss, photoed headliner, one in eight chance at Randy Moss. It is all full-size authentics. We are also still out there uh, looking for A.J. Brown. 
I went to IUPUI for two years. Didn't finish school there. I went to, uh, I went all over the place, man. Because then I went to the University of Illinois through Parkland College doing flight school. And then I actually finished and did media career with Full Sail University, which is Dan Patrick's school of sportscasting in Florida. So I've been all over the place. But IUPUI when I was in Indy, and I'll tell you, I say this to everybody that's from Indy, I love Indianapolis. It's I love Chicago. You know, it's two very different cities. But Indianapolis is such a nice, like, just little city. You don't have to deal with a ton of traffic. There is traffic, but it's not crazy. You can get anywhere you want to go from one end of the city. And great sports. Great yeah. sports. I mean, they have all the professional teams you need. The Indians, as he just said, is darn near a baseball team. Like, they get a lot of popularity. Not to mention the Big Ten tournaments go there all the time. The uh, pro, Or not Pro Bowls. Well, Pro Bowls. But uh, combine. combine, yeah, is always there. Indianapolis 500, the Brickyard. All sorts of great stuff in sports in Indianapolis. So it's one of my favorite cities. And it's affordable, which is not always the case here in Chicago. Sold out in the Diamonds. We are going to get a full-size break, Steven. It's happened. It's going to look weird. Best season I saw for a pitcher was Ron Gidry. Uh, Gidry. Gidry? Gidry. 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 In 1978. Yeah, he had like 25 wins. He went like 25-3. and three. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. It's a solid record. He's no old Hoss Radborn, but... No one... He carried the, <laughs> he carried the squad, okay? You, old Hoss. <laughs> like 64 and 5. It's on a run. Ron said he lived seven minutes away from Bush Stadium. It's still here, but they made the stands into condos and kept the field original. No one plays on it. Interesting. I uh I love Bush Stadium. I think we've talked about that before. Like our Bush favorite, Stadium is really nice. Our favorite baseball fields, like, honestly... Bush Stadium is really nice. The outfield grass is immaculate. Face. Huh? I'll never say it's <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but the the arch in the background with the city, like, it's just beautiful. It's really nice. I love going to Cardinals games uh, when I ever get an opportunity to do it. Diamond Double is two left. Would be nice to fill it, says so Zach. Couldn't agree more. I've told this story before, too, but the uh, my favorite was in Cleveland. That was my favorite baseball game I've ever been to. The walk-off inside the park home run by... Uh, Tyler Naquin was crazy. Crazy. Craig Crenshaw, Adam Hoffman, Troy Sorensen, Heather Livingston, Craig Crenshaw, Adam Hoffman, and Josh B. Couldn't agree more with Zach Wright as well. Two to go in that diamond double. Let's get that done. Drop me a number, especially if we don't see Randy here. Diamond single number one. Get that double done. Let's do at least one more jersey double. We'll be here as long as you guys want to keep going. If not, Steven and I will take a short break, eat some food, uh, and come back on and start ripping again at 3 p.m. So either way, it's good with us. How about number four, Adam Hoffman? Mortensen has four Ks through two and a third. Ooh. Morton. And then Imanaga has three Ks through two. Let's go. We like that. We're coming back this week. Oh, yeah. Strong. Small world. My son played IEPY and graduated in 2020 during covid Crazy year, they shut out. Yeah, man, I was down there. I was literally on my way uh, for uh, the Big Ten tournament. I usually go to the Big Ten tournament when it's in Indianapolis. I just finished up my flight school. Right as I get in the car to start driving down there on Wednesday or Thursday, they announced no fans in attendance for the rest of the time. It was the first thing I heard on the radio. Yeah. No fans in attendance. And we were like, well, shoot, we'll just like you know go to bars and watch it or whatever. Uh, then, obviously, the next day, they shut down the whole tournament. So, we were just in Indy doing nothing. I think we went to Top Golf. Top Golf was still open. Wow. Yeah, and then yeah, it, it wasn't it wasn't great. <laughs> but me and my cousin were gonna go see uh, Zion versus John Memphis like, the week following week. Really? Yeah, and then it all yeah. got shut down. Yep, yep. COVID changed a lot of plans after that. All right, Heather's in the NFC North looking for Randy Moss. She's had some luck in the NFC North already with the uh, Monsters of the Midway and the jerseys, seeing if she can keep adding to that. Adam Hoffman, NFC South. Troy Sorensen's in the NFC East. We know A.J. Brown is still out there. Adam Hoffman, NFC West. Josh B., AFC North. Craig Crenshaw, AFC South. Heather, AFC East. And Craig, AFC West. Even if it's not A.J. Brown or Randy Moss, we know something in here is going to be worth it in any of those divisions. So here we go, box four in the demons. We have a full-size authentic helmet. Well, well, well. 
The NFC North strikes again. Oh, Randy Moss, oh, straight yes, cash homie. Heather Livingston. On a roll. Wow. Look out for her when she is in the NFC North. My goodness. Started it off with the Monsters of the Midway jerseys. Three autographs on one. Gets into the Diamonds. Gets the NFC North again. And gets the last photoed headliner. Straight cash homie Randy Moss. Again, the most talented wide receiver I've ever seen play, personally. I mean, the, you just it's hard to guard this guy, man. You can only hope to contain him. You know what I mean? Like That's I say about Michael you Jordan. Can do. That's it. Heather, nice hit on Randy. You can only hope to contain him, and gosh darn it, Randy has... He's done it. <laughs> he has done it. Things are weird now for the hit video. But Heather, I things are... I still think we do baseball. I think so, too. But it's Randy Moss. I agree, but some days Randy, some days you, you know, some days it's a good set of hands, some days it's not. It's not about you, Randy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because we're one away on another Jersey double. Oh, God. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, we might get more baseball. I think you're right. Randy might have to go. It is pretty helmet, though. Beautiful standard. It's not bad. Putting it away. Loving it. Beckett certified real quick before I put her away. Beautiful. Randy Moss. I think Heather had two spots in here, but $174 for a Randy Moss Authentic. Yeah, that'll work. I think that'll work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know when I was there in school, which would have been 2015, 2016, and I think 2017, it was like it and Chicago were like the two like murder capitals of mm -hmm. of the United States. So that was cool <laughs> while I was going there, but it, it does suck. You gotta be obviously there are bad places in any city you go to, you know. But yeah. it is it sucks. I'm interested if you want to sell that or trade. Got a few things that would throw in, says Troy. So there you go. Josh also interested. Let me know if you're interested in trading that. I have a full size uh T U A O Tua. I'm stupid. To a lunar, if interested. I'm like, who's TUA? I'm like trying to... Tyler Unitas Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> the next one. Oh, my gosh. We need more bats and gloves, more basketballs, more youth mentors, and less social media. There you go. It says Lucky Locks, a.k.a. Get Off My Lawn Guy. <laughs> Maybe you run for mayor or something, man. All right, let's get this double done, at least. It is a part of the chase for the baseball jerseys. Again, Steven pointed it out. And you guys can see it here on the Live Breaks page. One to go. One lone spot left in that double jersey for the baseball, so we'll get that one done. We are two to go in that diamond double. Would like to get that one done as well. Uh, one to go in the jersey, so I'll drop that in there as well. Probably get that one done. I don't see why not. Drop in the diamond double. AJ Brown's still out there, by the way, in the diamond double. So drop that boy in there. And three to go in the jersey single. So, I mean, guys, we can keep them. Two to go in the one and four. I mean, you guys let us know. We can go either way, any way you guys want to go. But I think for sure we're going to at least do one more jersey double and one more uh, single. Yeah, football jersey single. Maybe even another baseball jersey single, too. So. Troy, you a Vikings guy. I have a few items I would move. And there's the email for Josh. So there you go. And get in there on the, on the baseball scores. Ex-NFL cornerback Vontae Davis found dead at age 35. Just sad. one nothing Braves over the White Sox currently. Honestly, not too bad for the Sox only being down that much. And who else getting that RBI than this guy right here? Ronald Acuna Jr. picking it up. Who else? That is true. That is true. Very, very blue city uh, is is Indianapolis. Other than that, 0-0 uh, zero, zero between the Cubbies and the uh, Rangers, or Rangers, Rockies. I'm guessing that's not going to last long. I hope not. Especially since we have a lot of Cubs players. I'm looking here, I'm like, we got that guy, we got that guy. Yeah. Morel and Suzuki. I think we did. Morel play, has a hit. We played Suzuki, so that would be nice. Want to play Suzuki instead of Morel? No, we played them both. I think. Oh, okay. 
I think we played them both. That's ready for you. Bang, bang. Let's do some more strikeouts. Got a lot of strikeouts today. A lot of strikeouts today. Nick Martin, John Sutter, Justin Price, Heather Livingston, Christopher Alangihor, and Craig Crenshaw. I know a couple of Braves fans in here looking for that. Glavin, Gibson still out there. Biggio, Ryan, Sanders. Boy, there's some, yeah, there's some headliner double-up opportunities all over the place. Baseball jersey double number six. Two numbers, please, and thank you. Let us know. Four, six through eight, ten, twelve. How about seven and twenty? Seven and twenty. Going off the ticker. We are we are starting to lose some numbers on the ticker here, guys. I think only 14 left now after this double. 26 from Heather, just a little bit late. Appreciate the call though. Heather, you do have some uh some interest for that uh that interest for the the Randy Moss from these Vikings fans. If you have any interest in trading it, might get yourself a nice dolphin. No pressure though, obviously. It's your lid. If you want to keep it, keep it. I mean, I would keep it. It's Randy Moss, right? That's Randall Jean you're talking about. Randall Jean. I had no run first inning for Cubs. I knew the wind was blowing in. You should have you should have given the sauce, man. <laughs> given the sauce. Let us uh, know next time. Number seven and twenty. Seven and twenty, yep, and then it looks like we did get the jersey full, so we'll see where we're at after this one, guys. But John, you've got the AL East, Craig's got the AL Central. Nick Martin, AL West, Justin Price in the NL East looking for the stat jersey. Heather Livingston, NL Central, and Christopher Longyor, NL West. I know in the NL Central, we still got that Pete Rose. Uh, I can do this one. Nolan Ryan and Craig Biggio would be the AL West, Stephen? Yep. Nick Martin looking for that. So we'll see. 7 and 20 coming up. Grazie. Lucky seven first. Lucky seven first. Lucky for someone. Let's see. Ooh. Got a legend here. Especially for this team. I mean, had a lot of big moments, especially in their World Series run. How about Salvador Perez? Oh, okay. Salvador Perez coming out. The star catcher for the Kansas City Royals. AL Central. Craig Crenshaw. Another one for the collection, my man. This is what Craig does. He goes to work and I pull him heat when he's not watching. That is that is the Craig Crenshaw special. But getting himself Salvi. Not bad, man. Great hitting catcher. A little bit aged. Am I like... I don't, might have myself a... Uh, what's the word? What is that word where it's like uh, it's like deja vu but like mass deja vu like how everybody thought uh the mandela effect i was literally just saying i'm nelson mandela i could have sworn the white Sox signed salvador perez or like were they in discussions to get salvador were, perez i thought there was a rumor for him yeah maybe that was it i thought they had already signed him so then like we got to uh <laughs> we got to like you know regular season rosters being announced and i didn't see salvador perez and i was like what Wait, what? And then I look, I'm like, wait, he didn't he didn't get traded? Or they didn't sign him? Right. I'm so confused. But nope. Still in Kansas City, doing his thing. That's a nice looking jersey too, that. That light blue. It's very pretty. Even though it's a royal. That's fine. Sweet looking jersey from Josh. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's what Lucky Locks is about. I usually have one lock every single day. Purdue's minus three and a half was mine yesterday. I called them on the shot back or called him back on the show on the 20th daniel doubted me but common was with me yeah man i think uh i've said this a couple of times but i think purdue got a little bit disrespected overall in this tournament i know we've talked about it already before but they're a good team they are very solid i think this is the best purdue team in the last few years which they're kind of showing it now i just thought they were in a weak region personally um would have been tough what was the minus three and a half against gonzaga or against uh what was the 20th yeah, it would have been Gonzaga, I think. I don't know what Common cooked up for me. I know we had a bet on the spread for UConn and Illinois. 
which was looking great at halftime until 30 0 run happened, but. Well, you, that, you, you, you risked that? It was minus 8.5. UConn's won by, like, 13 every... For the they last haven't... Pl- that was the best team they played, though, in the whole tournament. With that being said, though, this is how that good UConn that, is. That mean <laughs> they've won They've won by 15-plus in every single game since their conference tournament. Yeah. Every <laughs> single game. And what's crazy is, like, I think the best... Dominant ball club. I, I'm with you. I think yeah. the best matchup for the championship is Purdue and UConn. Yeah. Get that battle, the big guys. But what's crazy about UConn is, like, that's not even their go-to guy. No. That's just their go-to guy when the they, matchup calls for it. Yeah. They have something for everybody because yeah. mm-hmm. that team is so deep and so loaded. It's unbelievable. Box 20 coming up here for Cray yeah, or the for everybody. Yeah, but they're, again, they're disgusting. They produce not 40, shooting 40% from three. They're going to win the game. Yeah, I know. It's, <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen a more dominant team. But can they meet the magical power of NC State, who have a history of doing this craziness? It's funny you bring up magical power, because I think Heather Livingston might have some of that. Yeah. How about the great oh, Bob yeah. Gibson? Yeah. St. Louis Cardinal legend coming out here. The great Bob Gibson, NL Central, Heather Livingston. Good Lord. This woman has come into the break room and has absolutely ripped her way into some massive victories. The Monsters of the Midway, the Randy Moss, and now Bob Gibson. That is not bad at all. Beautiful looking auto, too, on Mr. Gibson. Great looking custom jersey. That is fantastic. I mean, we've been talking about it. The 1.19 ERA for Bob Gibson. Uh, Stuff of legends. They literally had to change the rules around that because it was too much. They said, you can't do that to people, Bob. So we're changing it. You can't bully people, Bob. Gotta stop bowling people, Bob. Two World Series MVPs, two Cy Youngs to go along with it. I mean, ERA title, out the wazoo, everything good for Mr. Bob Gibson. Career 2.91 ERA. Uh, Let's see, 3,884 innings pitched and 3,117 strikeouts to go along with it. 89.2 career war for Bob Gibson. Good Lord. Good Lord. That'll work. That'll work. Uh oh. <laughs> we're we're have to figure it out. It's gotta keep Bob on here. We're just we're just gonna have a crazy collection of custom jerseys or baseball jerseys rather. These aren't even all custom. So that's insane. Should make it a little easier to give up the moss. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. She's not budging so far. Heather, dang, there you go, absolutely. Purdue has covered all three games of the tourney, love to hear that. Amazing baseball breaks today, I'll have to get in on them tonight's show, but all the fire's about gone. That's the thing, man, It might this might be gone. I don't think this is our last baseball series, though, if I'm being honest, so stay tuned. If not, like, immediately, there's more coming. It has been fire today, though, and they're, the fire's still there. I mean, gosh, Nolan Ryan and Craig Biggio can be running the same break still. We got primetime Deion Sanders still. We got Tom Glavin still out there. We got Pete Rose and Trevor Hoffman. We only have 14 boxes left with all those guys still out there. Let's see if I can slide this up here without getting too much into your personal bubble. Looks like we do have a single coming up, too, so let's keep it rolling here. Let's get to the chain gang. Zach Wright, Heather Livingston, and a new guy again, Adam Christensen. What's up, Adam? Drop me a number four. I'm going to put Chain Gang. Chain Gang number, I think, six, right? Uh, yes. Chain Gang number six. Do you know what time Live Break 7 will be? Is that uh, Adam Christensen? Uh, when it's filled out. Yeah, when it fills out. Uh, so it's five to go right now. Yeah, you are. I'm guessing that's Adam Christensen. You are number six. If that's you. I am making an assumption. Yeah, say, Adam, you're number six, my man. He said, here we are. Never mind. Yeah, you're in this one, brother. You're right there. So welcome, Adam. I'm guessing you're a Niner fan based on the George Kittle photo. But let me know if that's that's wrong. That's just a base assumption. Just a base assumption. Yep, I'm new to this. Hey, man. Welcome in. Welcome in. The best way to learn is to uh, jump right in, play, and watch, right? Absolutely. 
you got your spot you have a one in eight chance of winning right now uh let us know if you have any questions about anything but especially about what's left in any series um we know we just don't have time to like update the graphic whenever something gets pulled or whatever else so if you have any questions about what's left how many boxes are left just let us know but niners if that is your team is by far one of the most popular teams we get in this break room top three easy 20 from zach Wright. thank you sir to the randomizer we go Did, do we play Kalanick? We don't have him. We don't have him anymore? We never had him. Remember, we dropped him as a keeper to oh, get yeah, Corey we, Seager. We did. Oh, yeah. That was a big time play. Yeah. <laughs> Seemed like an upgrade at the time. <laughs> still is. It still is, yeah. <laughs> Corey Seager's been off to a slow start, though, but he'll, he'll get it together. I'm not worried about that. We have a shot at this. Showtime has six strikeouts through four. Let's go. <laughs> what number? Z uh, 20. Zach, NFC North. NFC East and AFC North for you. We've got this jersey. Yeah, <laughs> so I can just I can see you just calculate. I literally saw the numbers flying in your head right like, there, trying to figure out where we were. Sorry. Nice. <laughs> Showtime's there. debut today. I apologize. <laughs> There's got the NFC South, the NFC West, the AFC South, and the AFC East, and the new guy Adam in the AFC West. Looking for some heat. He's already got the fire emoji. Spread a little cheddar on eight strikeouts. Oh, there you go. Well, that's going to hit. Hopefully. This new pitching nonsense where no one pitches anymore. Bob Gibson, he would have gone online. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Heinz Ward, Travis Etienne, Dante Hall. So, Adam's actually in a position for Dante Hall. It'd be Heather for Travis Etienne and Heather for... Oh, actually, it'd be Zach Wright if it's Heinz Ward. So, mm, snipe possibilities. We have a headliner. Travis Etienne Jr. <laughs> Travis Etienne Jr. Number one on the beautiful teal jersey AFC South. She just keeps winning. Heather Livingston with another one. That's a nice one too, Travis Etienne. Look, the whole Jaguars organization kind of had a little bit of a dip at the end of last season. But uh, they're going to come back. That offense is too good, too strong. That whole division is going to be fun to watch come next season and Travis Etienne Jr. great running back in that league uh, and one that I think is going to be amongst some of the best going forward so very nice his brother also going to be in the league I don't know if it's this year or next year but, Florida uh, running back Florida running back I think it's Trevor I think it's Trevor you know he'll get a look nice hit from Zach yeah not bad at all Ron, by the way, won his first break. It was a Diamond Tampa Tom Authentic Series. Okay, I thought for a minute you were saying you won the Tampa Tom in your first break. I'm like, whoa. That's big time. Ron, remind me, too, at the end of the show to, to talk to Luke, in case I forget. Right when we're signing off, be like, hey, man, make sure you talk to Luke. I'm like, oh, got you. Oh, this is news to me. Georgia running back now, and he just got a DWI. Oh, talking about Travis, uh, Trevor Etienne, rather. That's not good. That's not a good look. For anybody, but definitely for a young man who's, like, you know, trying to make his career happen. And now he's always going to have character issue questions and whatever else. Like, it's just not a good look. No, it's really not. Dude, I'm getting myself all mixed up. Travis Etienne is the pro one, right? Yeah, Travis Etienne. <laughs> I just looked at this and I was like, that looks wrong. This was great. I only started doing this Friday. Well, you're killing it. Yeah, you're doing very well. <laughs> yeah, you are killing it. And you got, I mean, when you're hot, you're hot, right? I mean, yeah. you got to just keep that going. And she is here. She's got two spots in the one and four. Zachary Wright and Adam Hoffman. I didn't realize this break sold out. So that's fun. Here we go. Drop me a number for one and four. This is uh, pound for pound, like me and Steven and Common and Alex. It's about everybody here's favorite break. Just because, like, it, you get a little bit of everything. Baseball, basketball, football, everything else, and you never know what's in everything else. We've literally pulled lethal weapons out of everything else uh, several times. Several times. Several times. You pulled two in one show. That's true. That's true. Several torture devices. <laughs> out of the Saw franchise. <laughs> yep. A literal Saw. 14 from Adam. Thank you, Adam Hoffman. Appreciate you, my friend. 14 going off the ticker in the one and four. Best odds to win for one spot resides in this series. 
Heather's already got a 50% chance to win, and she's on fire. But that does not mean it can't be stopped here. We will see. Thank you, sir. Seven clicks here. Whoa. Seven clicks here. Well, well. Like we both were like, uh-huh. <laughs> All right, Heather, football spot for you and the baseball spot. So you were looking for the Five Sig Miami lid, the J.J. Watt, or the Nolan Ryan. That's the headliners, at least. Adam Hoffman's in the basketball spot, looking for the Lakers triple sign, the Celtics triple sign, and then Zachary Wright and everything else. Hulk Hogan, Dale Earnhardt Jr., just to name a few. This is 14. 14. What do we have? Oh, man. Box 14. It's fitting in six days. It is WrestleMania season. How about one of the most notorious wrestlers of all time? The Hulkster himself, Hulk Hogan, on a signed photo. Everything else, Zachary Wright taking down the Hulkster. You like it, brother? There you go, Zach. Nice hit right there. Yeah, Hulk Hogan was incredible. I mean, obviously the early day rivalries with Andre the Giant and doing the, uh, you know, first early WrestleManias all over. And he was the golden boy, right? I mean, back when wrestlers were larger than life characters, more like superheroes in the ring, this is the guy that they hitched their wagon to, went over to the WCW, formed the NWO with Scott Hall and uh, Kevin Nash. They did incredible things, winning the Monday Night Wars before coming back to where it all started and having himself a great run in the WWE once again. I'll flip this over. You can get a better view here of the Hulkster. Yeah, he's running wild on me, says Zach. Nice hit, brother, from Bobby. Brother from Ron. Great hit. You, you got a Hulk Hogan impression? No. Oh, come on. You could try it once. Brother. <laughs> that wasn't bad. You like that brother? <laughs> Obviously, I mean, him and uh, Randy Savage, too. Great tag team back in the day. The guy did it all. I mean, Hulk Hogan's a legend, set the tone for baby faces across the world in the wrestling world. So, congratulations, Zachary. Not bad on the Hulkster. He's a real American, you know. He's a real American. So, that's cool. Did he show his birth records or just claiming? I don't know. His song said he was. Ah. <laughs> And that's all that needs to be said. <laughs> it's a really catchy jingle. I don't doubt any of that. Hulk Hogan. All right. Sweet. Too sweet. <laughs> Nicely done. Look at you. You're doing wrestling things. Again. I never claimed I couldn't. I just choose not to. <laughs> he was the babyface version of Flair. Yeah, I mean, two of the biggest wrestlers in the company at the time. I mean, obviously him and uh, Randy Savage with just incredible rivalries in their time. He had great rivalries with everybody, though. Him and Ric Flair. Uh, Reggie Tags, Heather Livingston, Zachary Wright, and Christopher Longyhor in strikeout jersey number three. Here we go. Drop me a number... For baseball jersey number three. This is our third single. Obviously, as you can tell by the desk, we've done a lot more than just three. There are some sick, sick names on this desk, but with Nolan Ryan, Biggio, Tom Glavin, Deion Sanders, Pete Rose all still out there, um, we might have to add even more. Steven can barely type. There's so many jerseys over here. I am cramped. He's crammed. Got a diamond double after this, and then we'll see where we're at. Heather said, I partied with Hulk. Have you really? Day. Do you want to? Do you care to share details, or is that is that private? Either way, I'm cool. That's an incredible little fun fact, though. Four to go on the football jerseys, guys. Three to go on the one and four double, and four to go on the next baseball jersey double. I had the Hogan workout kit, a headband, a handspring, and the freaking cassette tape. Real American. I love the '80s. I grew up in Florida and moved to Indy when I was 16. Nice. I am a mid 90s baby so it's kind of we're like a weird one like i feel like people that are like in their early 30s are kind of like the last generation that had no internet as kids and then kind of grew up with the internet yeah i kind of caught the tail end of that being in 95 like you know i kind of had the basic internet and then everything blew up but 
still got all the 90s culture and the early 2000s culture so for me that's like the golden era right all true that. that true that that was so much fun but i would never experienced the 80s 70s 60s so i can't you know i only have what i have but anybody want to call a box otherwise uh we can go to the wheel it's already 223 i mean you guys know we have that show at three i would say if we get this done and that diamond double done and we're caught up We'll do the wheel spin real quick. We'll hop off, hop back on at three for a quick little break. But I think we're just going to go ahead and go to the wheel here. The Civic Center in my town always had Flair, Luger, Arn Anderson right before Sting became big. My kid's name is Austin. <laughs> That's awesome. 18 from Chris. Thank you, Chris. We'll do 18 in the baseball jerseys. No need for it. Zach got in there too with four. But we got a number. Appreciate you guys. That sounds awesome, too. I uh, My most recent wrestling experience was Survivor Series here in Chicago this last time, a couple months ago, where one CM Punk made a return that nobody saw coming. And it was one of the loudest arenas I've ever been in, in my entire life what when he came out. Day? 18. Called out by Christopher Longyhor, who finds himself in the AL East. Reggie Tags is in the AL Central. Zachary Wright, AL West. Heather's in the NL East. Zachary Wright, NL Central, and Heather in the NL West. This would just be a nice little capper for Heather to get that Tom Glavin. We'll see. Box 18, what do we got? Ah, we do have a headliner. It's a listed headliner. The all-time hit king, Pete Rose. But, this gets even crazier, Steven. Look at this jersey. Oh, okay. There's Pete! It's Pete! He's hanging out down there! With multiple inscriptions. Pete Rose! Oh my god, yeah, I was didn't even notice that. Yeah, we got Charlie Hustle on here, the 4,256, and the Hit King inscription. This is a really cool-looking jersey. NL Central, Zachary Wright, starting to get on a little bit of a heater late. Picking up Pete Rose. Very cool jersey, man. Gosh, we might have to keep this one around. I hate to say it, but it is. I cool don't have jersey. room. Yeah, it's fine. We don't. We don't have to put it on the desk. But that is crazy. When he tore his ACL, he came to Beham, and I worked at a health health saw him every day. He's a great guy. Love to hear that, Heather. You've already won more than me, Heather. Says Craig. Craig, you you got the Ronald Acuna today, brother. Have you been paying attention? Oh, did I win anything? You got Salvador Perez? I mean, you've worn a couple of things. Cool jersey. I like that. I like that. Maybe I'll keep it, like, over here. We got a little bit more room now with these new desks. Right. Like, I can keep it, like, here. You know? Oh, yeah, there you go. So at least it's out still. All right, so we'll get Zach written up real quick, and then we will do this diamond double. Appreciate you guys filling that up. Let's see if we can get A.J. Brown. And then uh, we'll see where we're at. If we're full on anything else. This series, by the way, we did just pull the Pete Rose, but what, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, 10, 12, I think 13 left. And uh, there's still Nolan Ryan, Tom Glavin, Craig Biggio, Deion Sanders, and Trevor Hoffman. I mean, it's still almost a 50% chance at a headliner. I went to the last Halloween Havoc when Goldberg lost his first match to Luger, and I watched Sid Vicious. Oh, yeah, that was terrible. Gosh, yeah, I've seen videos of it. It's It's awful. What no, Randy name? Moss says Craig. You know what, Craig? You're in this break. You might get A.J. Brown. You might get A.J. Brown. Zach, I got the Otani Senior jersey. Whoa. Gisela Lester, Christopher Taylor, Heather Livingston, Zachary Wright, Craig Crenshaw, Jeremiah Greco in here, and Brad Juliet. Drop me two numbers for diamond double number one. Not 31. That was a That was what we call a misclick. But you get it. I don't know, man. I don't know what they're going to do with Shohei Otani. It's, I mean, it's an ongoing investigation, right? But it's interesting. Do they play today? The Dodgers? Yeah, against San Fran. Ooh, that's a good match. I'm watching, so probably not. That's probably true. Why are you watching? <laughs> get out of here, Greg. Respectfully, of course. I'm trying to help you. So if anybody wants... Let's go. If anybody wants two numbers, let me know. Craig yeah. wants three and eleven. That will do. Thank you, Craig Crenshaw. Three and eleven going off. 
Bang, bang. Gisela, down to Brad. Just a Seven graveyard of jersey boxes. <laughs> Never had so many jerseys. I know. That make the desk. I know, right? <laughs> you know, usually reserved for the helmets, but no, he didn't really have a choice, man. He had too many great baseball stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, Diamond Double, number one, we got Gisela in the NFC North, Mark Taylor, NFC South, Zachary Wright in the NFC East, looking for the A.J. Brown. We've got Brad Juliet in the NFC West, Zachary Wright in the AFC North, Jeremiah Greco, AFC South, Heather Livingston, AFC East, and against what Craig Crenshaw is saying, he is in the AFC West, not in the South, even though he is a Falcon fan. So, I mean, if he sees Kyle Pitts, he's going to be really sad. Or Drake London. Or Drake London. Both guys we get, yeah. All right, let's do 11. However, if he sees a chief, like a Jamal Charles or something, he'd be all right. Or like a Keenan Allen, perhaps? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I know it's an authentic helmet. This much we know. This much we know. I know who's going to win. I don't know the player. I do know the player. I love this player. He's a great young player. I think he's going to be one of the best running backs in the NFL for the next years to come. How about Kyron Williams? Oh, that's nice. Beautiful Rams flash here. One spot in the break, Brad Juliet. Again, guys, Kyron Williams is easily a headliner in our jerseys and our minis. He is just a filler hit here in the Diamonds. That is the power of this series. That's a really nice hit. Rams flash authentic of one of the league's best young running backs. Proved it last year, I'll tell you that right now. Kyron Williams, really, really good player. Kyron Sleeper. I don't think he is anymore, man. I think he was for sure. But uh, Kyron is, has really grown into his own, I think, personally. It's really nice. There's no way Otani gets in any trouble. He is worth more to baseball than Trout and Judge together. Wow. That's a statement. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he does. I mean, that's not... You're not wrong. You're not wrong about it. All right, so we got one more diamond coming up. And it's box... Trace? Trace. <laughs> Eight Ks for Imanaga. Let's go. Oh, he's killing I mean, it's the Rockies. They're awful. Let us go. <laughs> yeah. You still got to make up so we can miss. Sabathia and Vladimir Repold Olsen as well. That's right. Yeah, we've got uh, Biggio and Sanders left as far as licensed jerseys. And we still got Tom Glavin on the stat jersey, Nolan Ryan, and we got a Trevor Hoffman. We got a legendary hit here. How about a part of that, you know, steel curtain defense, Jack Lambert. Very nice with the Hall of Fame inscription, AFC North. Zachary Wright starting to get on a bit of a heater. Right? There you go, man. Jack Lambert for you. Love that hit. Jack Lambert was excellent. Anybody on that steel curtain defense is uh, worth it in my book. And we obviously get them all. We get Joe Green. We get Jack Lambert. We get John Hamm. John Hamm. Jack Ham. John Ham's the actor. I always get him mixed up. Fair, I respect that. <laughs> Even the other guys, I mean, Franco Harris, we haven't had him in a while for obvious reasons, but RIP RIP to the great Franco Harris, but uh Terry Bradshaw as well. It's nice. It should be ramping up in my opinion. I mean, again, five great headliners left in 12 boxes. Two of them are licensed jerseys. One's a stat jersey. And you guys have seen the fillers. It is it is heat. It is heat. I mean, either way, I mean, it's it's 232. So, I mean, we got to... We're kind of at that pace anyway right now where it's like if something is going to fill, we'll go ahead and fill it. But otherwise, we might hop off and uh, uh, go get a quick break, although it looks like we are going to do a jersey. After that, though, the next closest break is four to go on the double uh, baseball break. So, if you guys want to get into that chase wheel spin... Get an extra spot, whatever. This is probably the break to play. We're four to go on it. Let me go ahead and put it in the chat. 
but we are going to do the chase probably right after this jersey break unless this break is like two or one to go but again glavin's still out there nolan ryan craig biggio and the primetime Deion sanders four incredible headliners left and we're still looking for trevor hoffman it's a five and twelve chance right now at a headliner in the jerseys two of them are licensed one's a stat jersey let's get it guys oh yeah absolutely television's all i mean the biggest part of it right i mean they probably want both ideally teams i think would rather it be well maybe not i actually don't know where they make more money the mlb makes more money obviously on television i would think but teams themselves still make a pretty penny for attendance which oakland struggled with opening day well they're in a different situation Their yeah fans don't like them. i think it was more of a uh like they were they were protesting That's what I'm saying. Pro yeah. protests zachary wright with four frank evans with two we got paula reinert and we got adam christensen drop me a number for jersey break number seven number seven a lot of jerseys oh yeah i believe it it's crazy man i mean it's it's so profitable and that's like people wonder like how are these athletes making this much money or whatever it's like look at the revenue they're driving man <laughs> look of course they're making that much money they make bank i'm not saying it's right but it makes sense you know i'm just saying it's not about right or wrong it is logical how many people can dot 98 on the black <laughs> and if you don't know what that means then that's enough said that's enough said. <laughs> I don't think we have nine. Uh, just, I know Adam's new. These are the numbers right here. They're scrolling on the bottom. Uh, so when you see jerseys, they're scrolling across the top. They're scrolling right now, actually, over here. So we have 4, 6, 12, 14, 17, 24, 25 in the jersey. So those are the last numbers scrolling right here on the bottom of the screen. They got my Thursday money last year, and they're going to get it again. I got a, I have a free trial right now for YouTube TV for the uh, March Madness and all that. And I got to say, it's great. Uh, I don't think I'm going to pay for it every month because it's very expensive <laughs> for me. We have Hulu Live TV. It's kind of expensive. Yeah, yeah. I hear that's that's really good, too. Um, yeah, but it's it's fantastic. Like, they have everything that I want. All the sports channels, all the local sports channels. Like, that's great. It's exactly what I need. But it's a little pricey. Everyone needed that Thursday night Thanksgiving game. It was a little treat. A little treat. So, Adam, let me know if you want another number or anybody else. Uh, Zachary, Frank, let me know. Paula. Otherwise, uh, we'll go to the wheel. Give that bad boy a spinny spin. Uh, spinny spin spin? We'll do 25 from Mr. Zachary Wright. It's on a heater. Might as well call his box. <laughs> Nobody could even see that. I had the randomizer up, but... <laughs> Six and seven. You're poor acting. Oh, I love the Red Zone channel. I'm not even... I mean, it's just one of the greatest inventions of all time. Yeah. I was about and to say, I, I mean... The, I don't know why the sports don't do it. I don't know if I'm, I mean, I don't know if I'd consider myself a gambling degenerate, I guess I would, but uh, I, I like the Red Zone channel even if I don't have money on it. Like, yeah. that's just, that's Fancy just a great, sake. yeah, it's just a great channel to have. Well, fo I mean, my girlfriend likes it because it's like, all I like to watch in football is like the touchdowns. That's all they have. She's got the right idea. Right? All right, Zach, you got the NFC North and the NFC South. Adam's in the NFC East. Zach's in the NFC West and AFC North. Frank's in the AFC South and the AFC East. And Paula's in the AFC West. Here we go. Box 25 coming out. We've got an AFC West hit. We've got Paula with one spot taking the human joystick. D'Angelo Hall. Dante. Dante Hall. We talked about D'Angelo earlier. I knew that was a mistake. I know. Dante <laughs> Hall, the human joystick for the Kansas City Chiefs. Paula Reiner, there you go. AFC West taking down Dante Hall, not D'Angelo. I don't know if we've ever had D'Angelo. I oh, if I we did, it was, it was when I first started. Yeah, I've I never seen him. him. I've only seen Dante, but Dante was incredible. A lot of fun to watch. Obviously, an incredible returner in his own right as well. Before uh, you know, some guy named Devin Hester came around and kind of stole the spotlight. But 
He was fun. Fun player. And a solid career for Dante. All right, well, I'm hitting all the boxes for what Ron considers a degenerate, because I definitely do that. I sent you a picture of my setup for March Madness, where I had literally, you know, four makeshift TVs all you made. Watch multiple games at once does not make you a degenerate. I think it's well, it's less that. about having so many games on the TV and more about are you placing a bet on do you have all these TVs because you have money on it? Yes, now that's much different. Yeah, like did you only bring this TV out to put on this obscure game because you bet on it? Like, like, that would be like, like okay. When that guy from. Saudi Arabia pulled up from three. For yes. No good reason. Exactly. <laughs> you find some weird online obscure stream in Saudi Arabia to watch some players you don't know. <laughs> Have no information about. Yeah. You did. You put money on it. <laughs> that to me is like, well, <laughs> that guy gambles. <laughs> yes. That's more the mark for me. All right. Refreshing the break page. Three to go in that double box break jersey uh, for the baseball. Other than that, pretty wide open. So I think we're going to go ahead and do the chase. We'll have that as a prefill, obviously, for uh, the early show or the late mid, mid show, middle show, whatever you want to call it. The 3 p.m. show. That's what we'll call it. Right. I got three TVs, a laptop, and a phone going, and it ain't for fantasy. <laughs> and there you see, now, now we're checking some boxes. <laughs> now we're checking some boxes. All right. Seven clicks, top spot, gets a wheel spin. Look at all these names. I got 90. Crazy. I think that series was a little hot. Just a tad. <laughs> Just a tad. Seventh and final. In fuego. Christopher Longihor. Christopher Longihor. Let me know if you are out there, my friend. You have won the chase wheel spin. Uh, while we wait on Chris, let's talk into the show. Wow. Who do you like? Oh. <laughs> Probably Acuna Jr. I mean, this is definitely, well, I this think. authentic jersey. Right. We'll talk about the Braves real quick. You got Ronald Acuna and Matt Olson. This one on a licensed jersey. This, I mean, maybe the best player in baseball right now, at least in the conversation. I mean, the Bob Gibson, who's just that's a legendary hit in its own right. I mean, we got Fernando Tatis Jr. here, who is absolutely incredible, young star. Pete Rose off here on the side. That thing was crazy. Got his face on it. It's hard to pick, man. I mean, CC early on was great. Oops. Look at all these jerseys. Look at all these jerseys we got. This isn't a bad little job we have here, Steven. It's not bad whatsoever. I think we're going to start on one for Chris, unless I hear from him. Sorry, Vlad, I didn't get you on here. Put all of our jersey friends up here. Let Vlad have his moment in the sun. That thing is sick. I mean, it's all cool. It's all cool. All baseball, all the time, to the wheel spin. For Christopher. Starting on one. I might have nailed that. I think I nailed that. I feel good about this spin now. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Ten dollars. I didn't even change a thing in. Dang it. <laughs> I have been cold on the wheels, Ben. I'm not going to lie. I have been cold. All right, guys, it's 2.42. Steven and I think are going to have a quick little reset, go get some food, hang out for literally like probably two minutes, and then probably hop right back on here. I'm guessing we'll probably get on a little bit after 3. So sometime between like 3 and 3.15, we'll hop back on here and keep on ripping as we should because the jerseys are in a great spot right now with two headliners left in six boxes. Obviously, 13 baseball jerseys left with five headliners, two licensed jerseys, a stat jersey, the Diamonds still have an A.J. Brown in the final five. The one and four starting to get some traction. It's a fun show, Stephen. What do you think? Fun show indeed. Lots of great baseball jerseys. Baseball is back in full swing. I'm excited for more. I'm excited for more, too. And we'll definitely get it in the late show. Tune in right back here at Ultimate Autographs. We're live every single day, 12, 3, and 6 p.m. Central Time again for today since it's 2.42. Look for us around probably 3.10, 3.15, I would say. But we're going to be here ripping no matter what. So until then, we'll see you guys soon.